No? Yep. Okay. That does work, but it's too big. We can fix that. But yes, tonight I will be joined by my beautiful, wonderful co-star and uh, supposed wife, uh, Emily. Because I feel like... Okay. Okay, I'm not getting any sound. That can't be good. Wait. There we go. Okay, we have sound. And very dodgy video. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to make this a little bit better, I think. Uh, let's try fixing that. Let's let's change the quality. Uh, yep, yep. Let's let's change it to low. That's good. Okay, yes, that's that's a lot smoother. Nice. Okay. Now here's where I double check that my mic is on. My mic is on. We're off to a great start. This stream, I got a good feeling. Why is my light so bright? It's making me look downright fluorescent. There we go. That's more like it. Ah. Oh well this music has already just got me raring to go. Okay. a tutorial. Uh, I guess we'll go through the tutorial. I guess. Well. Oh, uncle is back. To swap held items, click left button or right button. Using electronic components whilst the engine is off will drain the battery. Good to know. I didn't know how cars work. He snapped and yelled, dude. Yes. Ah, oh, wait, finally. Stay in bed any longer and the day will make fools of us both. Come now, I have something important to show you. What? Oh, oh. What? Controls? <laughs> this mouse sensitivity is a little bit extra. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. I think we're going to change the graphics uh, just a little bit here. Okay, well, we can't do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to very quickly save and quit. I think we need to drop drop the graphics down just a touch. Still a little crunchy. Okay, let's have a look. Why did it go back to quality highest? Okay. Okay, that hopefully fixes it. Now, where were we? Uh, getting rudely awakened, I believe. Very rudely awakened. Our uncle will be joining us. Ooh. I have no idea. I'm excited to find out I have an uncle as well. Oh god, there's the alarm again. Oh, it's so loud. How many times do you have to tell you the alarm you set that you don't insist on? The alarms you set don't even wake you up. What are you talking about? Your alarms go off multiple times every day, and I am desperately trying to sleep. You know the difference? I wake up when my alarms no, go off. Don't. Yes, I no, do. You <laughs> You're the one who doesn't wake up when your alarms no. go off. You're the one who sets like 20 alarms. And you I set three time. alarms. Oh, three you set alarms. one alarm, but oh, it goes off for 35 minutes. Oh, we're, we're negotiating down now. <laughs> We're not even on the trip yet. And you're already, you're already stunned. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> like, <folks>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep. This is running a lot. Oh. Okay, this door. Oh, I can turn the lights on now. Yes, that's in fact <laughs> what a light switch does. Look, this is new technology to me, okay? Evidently. <laughs> I can click the buttons. Okay. Okay, well, we're gonna leave the lights off. We don't. We don't want to waste electricity. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, okay, I have no money, but there's a hundred dollar bill in there. 
But I have no money. I could buy storage. Oh, we don't need that. We're traveling light. Okay. Can't can't open those. Good to know. Uh apparently it's June 1990. It's the 23rd. No, I'm pretty sure it's near Christmas, buddy. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so right click to zoom in on things. I'm sure that will be useful eventually. Okay. Okay. Can't run. Good to know. I'm very slow, just like in real life. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> okay, we're gonna climb up on these. This seems like a good idea. Oh! Well, now we have a car door! Hell yes! I'm sequence breaking! <laughs> This here is a Leica 601 Deluxe, something of an engineering legend in the GDR. 0 to 60 km per hour in 22.5 seconds. Top speed of 100 km per hour at all the economical rate of 9 km per liter. That is, if we can get our running. Not to worry, I've got everything ready. We'll just need to build her an engine, slap on some wheels, fit the passenger side door, and give her a bit of a clean. So let's get started. Fit the replacement door. It's over on top of that scrap pile behind you. Way ahead of you, uncle. If you squint, you'll be able to see it. Yes, uh, I, I have to squint to see it. It's very hard. There we go. Less than elegant, but it's on. Right, now let's fit the engine. If you open up the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that and release the bonnet. Uh, black latch. Oh, I can crouch. No? Okay, yep. Important companions? Can we have the maintenance manual? It will cover the basics for the Where? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, 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 we're learning. So as you can see, she needs an engine. Yeah, and a few other things, I think. I've got a load of stock parts sitting here in the garage. Go collect one. I'll walk you through what it does. Ah, yes. I wonder what the engine could do. Parts are seen in the garage. Go Aww! Thank you for the gifted subby! Okay, let's see, we've got battery, we've got the stock engine, wait, no, is there a better engine? Stock air filter, carburetor, fuel tank. This is getting complicated. Okay, you're number one! <laughs> okay, it's the core of my Leica setup. The engine block defines core performance of your Leica, including top speed and acceleration. <laughs> Holy kept engine block would mean your Leica will struggle to perform. Go ahead, drop it into the engine body. Okay. There we go. Good, good. Now what? Oh! Ignition coil, air filter, and carburetor, fuel tank, water tank, and the battery. Jeez. Cars are complex. You know, after this, I might actually know how to drive. Okay, it's battery, which provides the electrical charge for your Leica. Battery allows you to use lights, the radio, the car ignition, that kind of thing. If your Leica won't start, then the first place to check is the battery. Okay. Good to know. Now for the air filter. Where did I leave that? There we go. Okay, you're holding the air filter a non-essential component. Oh, well, we don't need it then. The air filter isn't necessarily required to run your Leica, but it's a good idea to have one as it will reduce the rate of wear to your engine block. Go ahead, drop it in the engine bay. Okay. Okay, good. So we don't need an air filter. That's that's useful knowledge. Uh, carburetor, I think, is somewhat important, but I could be wrong. I mean, it has the word car in it, which is generally a good sign. Right, that's a carburetor which controls the fuel consumption of the car, which in turn controls how many kilometers per liter you'll get out of your Leica. A good, well-maintained carburetor will mean you use less fuel and can drive further. Oh, thank you for the 
Prime glitch. Appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good one. <laughs> okay, so carburetors mean I'll use less fuel and can try it further for cheaper. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Car's almost done. Uh, fuel tank, relatively important. I know that much. That big lump of metal is fuel tank, which holds the fuel for your Leica. A few notes on this one. First of all, it's gravity fed, so you'll need to open the bonnet and fill directly into the tank when refueling. Interesting. <laughs> also, your Leica is running a two stroke engine, that means you'll want to mix in some oil to the fuel mixture. Failure to mix oil into the fuel will mean the engine won't be lubricated and it will wear an increased rate. Too much oil, though, and you'll start to see if it is getting complicated. Keep your fuel tank well maintained. Let it get too beaten up, and it will start leaking fuel everywhere. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, V. I appreciate it. So many subs today, jeez. <laughs> Go ahead, drop it into the engine bay. Okay. Okay, so when we fill this, we need to make sure that there's a decent amount of oil in there. Which is good to know. <laughs> I'm trained, baby. <laughs> you can fart noise. <laughs> okay. Uh, stock ignition coil. That little thing is the ignition coil. Initial coil channels and electrical charges start the engine. Ignition coil that's in bad condition may struggle to start the engine. Okay, so if it doesn't start, it might be the ignition coil. Okay, that's good. Good. <laughs> Thanks for the fuller glitch. Okay, I think the water tank is all we have left. And then we just need to fuel this bad boy and uh, maybe get some tires, although I think those are optional. That's the water tank, which provides water to help keep your windscreen clean. From we don't need this. Keep it in good condition or it'll start to leak water and you'll soon find yourself driving without any vision. Go ahead, drop it into the engine bay. Okay, where, where do you... Where do you... Where do you fit? Probably not there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so everything installed. Good job. <laughs> Why did you tell me to do a fart noise? I mean, of all things! I have to keep myself entertained on this road trip, somehow. Can of fuel a bottle of water and a bottle of two-stroke oil in the garage? Go and collect them all, I'll walk you through fueling your car. Okay, so that's the air filter. Then there's the actual engine. Back there is the petrol tank, the water, the water glass, the battery, and the spark boy okay okay <laughs> oh good lord okay v <laughs> every time you do that i have a small heart attack as does everyone watching good that's a can of fuel you're holding there if you use that on the fuel cap of the fuel tank we just installed then you become begin filling your cup with fuel okay good Okay. Okay, let's let's just fill her up all the way. Good. I can drop it if I'm done with it. What? Where do I drop it? Oh, middle button. Middle button drops. Huh. What a world. Okay. Two stroke oil. <laughs> Bottle of two-stroke oil. You want to add a drop of it to improve the fuel mixture, which affects things like performance and engine wear. A lean mixture will result in a faster carb with increased weight of the engine. A rich mix will result in the opposite. Try using on the fuel tank, the full tank of fuel to affect the fuel mixture. Okay. How much do I want to add? Okay, I, I guess that's enough. Maybe? Okay. And finally... Nice tall glass of water. Ah, you've got a bottle of water. Good job. If you use that on the water tank we installed, then we can fill her with water. Okay. There we go. Oh, we are getting tires. Good. 
<laughs> Not yet, B. <laughs> we need tires. So as you can see, we won't get very far without any wheels. There's a car jack in the garage. Bring it over and we'll get started. Oh, good lord. This is, this is complex. Okay. Now twist the handle. Oh, good. I missed entirely what he said. Something about a tire jack? Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'm we in my mum's to... car. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Bring over a road tire. I have a road tire in my hands. It's right here. Okay. Where are you? Yep. There's a road tire. Uh. Oh, I needed that. Oh, I don't know where that went. Well, that's not good. You'll be fine. Okay. Uh, where, where, where did the tire iron? Where did the tire iron go? Oh shit. Okay. So slight problem, Uncle. Uh, I may have lost the tire iron. <laughs> Uh, Emily, what do I do? I, I appear to have lost... I appear to have lost the tire iron. <laughs> I feel like it's an us problem. It means not going on this, uh, version, so I don't know. Uh... Yeah. Well, this is a fine fucking mess I've gotten myself into. <laughs> Why did you give me the tire iron first? Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We can fix this. <laughs> we're just gonna just gonna save and quit, and then we're gonna reload, and I'm sure it will be fine. Okay. Right. Woman. <laughs> I don't need your sass. I already lost my tire iron. I feel like you do need my sass. It's entirely the reason you have me here. That's true, but still. <laughs> Thank you for the fist, B. Oh my god, it's... Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna... We're gonna... We're just gonna... Okay, Uncle, uh, stop talking. Like the... <laughs> I've woken up three times now. Okay, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to save and quit. We're going to start a new game. We're just going to skip the tutorial. I'm sure we'll be fine. I think we learned everything we need to know. It'll be fine. I hope. Oh, he didn't teach me how to drive the car. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I'm sure you can figure it out. This doesn't exactly seem to be the most organized excursion. <laughs> Woman, do you think I ever got my driver's license? I'm just, I'm just doing oh my god, why is it the morning again? <laughs> Shut up! God. I love waking up every single day. Okay, there we go. It's all good. Every day I wake up. Every day every I wake day up. I wake up. That's mine. Where's mine? I don't know, wherever you put it. Jeez, you were in charge of the package. I I am um, the worst person for that, which is why I keep making you. One time I asked you to take care of the luggage. The one time, the which one will teach time, you a lesson whatever. about ever asking me to do that. Wow. Look what you made my photo do. I'm pretty sure you did that to yourself. I'm just trying to enjoy Plus, a nice slurpy look, beverage. Look, if it fizzes up, it's just more soda. It's, See? Surface tension. It's fine. It's I don't fine. Want surface tension. That was my least favorite part of Half-Life. Okay. Okay, see, now, here's a like, car that I prepared earlier. I feel like there's less surface tension in this relationship. <laughs> uh, take uncle. Nah, I don't need the uncle. I've got my wife. 
Okay, it appears to be running very poorly again. <laughs> Why? Oh, McFlurry, keep up with all these allergies from a strange and new location on our road Every trip. time I restart, it resets the graphics to high. I don't want it to. I'm gonna have to go through waking up again for the fifth time! Okay, okay, it's fine. Yep, quality higher snow, we want low. Okay, good, good. Okay, every day I wake up, every single day. <laughs> A marriage story. Well, Emily, the tweet is still on Twitter. I'm I'm going to tweet to tell it to you. <laughs> yeah, make sure you uh make sure your phone's charged. Oh my good lord! If I <laughs> B, it's bad enough I'm getting sass for the fucking alarm. <laughs> oh my god, now it's night time. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. There's stars out. Okay, I'm not taking my uncle. I'm just going alone. It's all good. I have my, <laughs> have my wife. We're just gonna, we're just gonna close the door. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, instruction manual. I don't. I don't need that. How do I? Yeah. Dropping that. Dropping that. that. <laughs> Be making all those sound effects. Be cool. Okay. Uh. How do I start you? Have you ever used a car before? <laughs> like once. So oh, why are we on right. A road trip? I need keys. Keys are important. Put them in the ignition. There we go. Okay. No? Okay. It started. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. And we're off. Uh, those doors aren't opening. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I am, I am sensing a minor problem here. Uh, how do I? How do I get onto the road, Uncle? I don't know. Wait, does my car have fuel? I I don't understand why you didn't fuel the car before we <laughs> Look. left on the adventure. What is wrong with you? No, it's full. It's full. It has 10 out of 10 liters of fuel with a rich oil mix. Okay, good. Okay, uh, I, I have an idea. Okay, that... Hmm. Okay, turning on the light didn't fix it. Okay, uncle, how do I... <laughs> Thank you for the follow Elvis. See, I'm, I'm glad I'm to doing, know you're still alive. I'm doing all of this. I'm, I'm getting people on the stream. We're hanging out. We're having commentary. Everything's going great, and you can't even forget the car. <laughs> the car is fueled. I just don't know how to open the is doors. It fueled, is it? It's fueled enough. Um, oh, enough. Great. Well, at least it'll get, I hope, to a gas station. Me too. Okay, but how do I... Well, I can't talk to my uncle anymore. That's not great. How do I get the gates open? I don't know. You're not very good at this whole road tripping thing. <laughs> Look, I hit one minor roadblock. Oh, and that well, I get it. Because we're on a road trip. Yes. I understand. I, I understood that reference. 
Okay, no, that's my passport. I'm pretty sure I don't need that. Gate opens after we choose a route. Well, we got an expert here. Okay, well, how do I choose road, a route? Road pal. Uh, let's have a look. Guy. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe? <gasps> yes! Okay! Okay! Oh, we finally found out where we're going. Great. Yes. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Uh, hmm, which route do we want to take? Any. Whatever route that gets us Let's going. go with Route 1. It has it has a petrol station. Ah, uh, yes. Famous, famous Route 1. Big yes. Fan. Oh, okay. great. You seem like a very confident driver. I'm a pro. I know oh, exactly clearly, what I'm clearly. doing. Okay. Look out, everyone. I married a pro. Okay, why does... Yeah, why... What's, what's, what's wrong with the car? I thought you were a pro. I am... Oh, there we go. See, it's oh, wow. fine. It's wow, fine. Moving, it's fine. Okay, which side of the road do they drive on here? Okay, the know, right? I don't care. Okay, and we're off. <laughs> Great. Maybe now I can start going back to sleep. I feel like we need some we need some tunes. Hopefully DRM free tunes. Yeah. Well, I hope there's no cops, because I don't know how to use my indicators, or even if I meant to. <laughs> Very human music glitch. Oh! We have life! Okay, I have no idea which direction I'm meant to go here. Uh, but... It's fine. Yeah, right back at you, buddy. I'm driving here. Okay, I'm just gonna guess where we're meant to be going. I figure we're probably going the right way. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna try and keep to one lane. That's generally a good idea. Look at that countryside. Isn't it beautiful, Emily? Look, we said that we would visit the relatives. Well, specifically, you said we'd visit the relatives. How else were we going to get there? At what point have I ever indicated I want to see a new place? Right before we went on this road trip. I don't really think that that would happen. But I appreciate your opinion. Are you going to do that? It's what I do best. <laughs> wow. Look, we've already made 116 kilometers? Meters? Something. God, that guy should get his engine checked. It doesn't sound too good. Okay, we're in the middle lane now. That's where we're staying. Yeah, yeah. Hong Kong. Look, I'm keeping it one lane, buddy. What more do you want? See, I'm, I'm trying to tell Michaela that we're doing this. Michaela, Michaela's busy right now, but she tells me, like, wait, you're on a road trip? And I'm like, yes, we're on a road trip. Like, like the RB episode from Frasier. <laughs> Perfect. Gotta, gotta yes. Like, right? Yes. Michaela is our friend who really loves Frasier. I had a dream about Frasier last yeah. night. Why don't you recite the Frasier? 
I don't remember. I think uh, Frasier like hustled Mun in an, in like no, a no, game no, 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 of snooker. You're telling, it wrong. You're telling your I'm own telling dream my wrong. own dream wrong. Okay, please enlighten me. What so happened in my dream? That Frasier went into the kitchen. Mark was in there, and he had stickers of all of everyone, and he was like slapping them on the cabinet, and the kitchen walls, and he was shocked and mad about something. He was in like stealth mode or something. And so, like, he's talking to them, but ignoring Frasier. And Frasier's, like, trying to convince his dad to come, come out of the kitchen and to stop talking to weird sticker people. And then, like, there's something about, like, eventually Martin starts talking to him, and then Martin starts begrudging the fact that, like, something about Snooker. Snooker enters the conversation. Oh, that's not good. And they're going, going back and forth on it. Okay, this is fine. Our engine's just a little bit on fire. So anyway, Martin's <laughs> lamenting the fact that McGinty's used to have, like, a, a, a pool ball, and, and, like, they go and they play pool. I think we're just gonna... And then, like... I'm gonna pull over the side of the road here. Ranger starts telling a story about, yep, like, that's fine. Yale okay, and, so... and, yep, beer. Total pro at this. Okay, look. It's just a minor engine fault, okay? your story about your dream because you're too busy being bad at driving. Look, so I'm not bad at driving. My car's just on fire. Please don't get hit by a car. I'll anyway, do my best. So okay, how do I... Martin is, like, bragging about how good he is at snooker, and then Frazier's like, well, you see, back to Yale in the summers, blah, blah, blah. He's basically, like, doing a bit where he's like, but you see, I used to spend all my time back in school playing snooker as well so and then, and then dunks on martin with small the, the problem snooker. i think i did it yes i may have forgotten to bring bring the engine repair tools i may have forgotten to pack those wow i love road trips <laughs> It's fine. We'll just keep going until we get to the next, uh, the next gas station. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine. It's, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, there we go. And off we go. <laughs> Wonderful. Yep. We're just going to turn that into a nice little moment. <laughs> so when I'm in divorce court, they'll understand. They'll know, they'll know why. They'll this is fine. Look, we can still reach. That, we can I'll, still reach near top speed. It's, it's all good. Cat, clearly. There we go. Now we have a nice... <laughs> Look. To be fair, how was I meant to know that I would need engine repair tools? You haven't even affirmed whether or not I told your dream correctly. <laughs> Uh, you didn't. You didn't mention the part where they play a game of snooker before he mentions the McGinty, because that's part of the hustle. No, no, no. Frasier challenges him to a game of snooker, and then Martin's like, oh, you know, they used to have a, a pool, they used to have, like, a snooker table back at McGinty's, and he, uh... He starts doing doing oh. the snooker. Oh, right. And they start playing against each other, but then Frasier's like, I was three-time Harvard right. snooker champion, yes. and he was hustling Mon along. Right, I should turn off my four-way flashes, huh? But then, That'll drain the battery. But then there was, <laughs> that's when the dream started getting weird. Yeah, I mean, the dream was already kind of weird, yeah, but it being got trapped weird. in an episode of Frasia with a laugh track. It's very surreal. Like, you're not even in it is my favorite part. You're yeah, no, I was literally just, I was literally, like, well, I was in it. I was watching it, like, first person, but I was neither of the characters, and yes. I didn't say anything. I just Correct. watched them go through this entire episode of Frasier. Yes, exactly. I still then, don't even know if I'm on the right route. But then there was, like, this weird character that showed up. I can't even remember, like, remember? It's your dream. I wasn't even there. This is literally in your head. Uh, I don't know who showed up. McGruff the Crime Dog? No, it was, uh, Faye Valentine from Cowboy Bebop. Oh, yeah! Faye Valentine. And then she gets into a fight with Daphne? Yeah. I, I don't remember what, but I do remember that there was an inflatable pool involved. 
There was there was a lot going on. There was a lot going on in that dream, yeah. There was just a whole lot going on. It's fine. The car seems to be running perfectly fine. It's making some sounds, but it's all good. <laughs> we are, however, almost out of fuel, and I may have forgotten to pack any more fuel. Um, Seems like a very neat thing to have done, considering you packed, forgot to pack the tools or literally anything. Look, I told you before you were in charge of the packing. Why? At what point did you hand me a list of like, oh, these are things that we might need, or oh, we should have like uh, some repair tools. I figured since you were the car pro, <laughs> you would kind of have this unlocked. You would kind of know what you're doing. Well, apparently I fucking don't. Well, I made the horrible sin of having some confidence in what my <laughs> wife was doing. You should know me better than that. Unfortunately, I do, but I like to have hope. Okay, so this is a bit of a problem. We're going uphill. Our car's getting a little bit slower here. Oh, should uh, I get out and push? <laughs> might not be a bad idea. I'm supposed to be sleeping. Who said you were meant to be sleeping? Also, the radio turned off. How do I... Turn the radio back on. There we go. It's back on. Why did turn it off? I did it. It Why turned off when I... I'm pretty sure that's meant to be the moon, sweetheart. You know, the thing that's in the sky sometimes? Why is it not right? Why is it the opposite of right? <laughs> I think it might be pushing time soon, Elvis. I think I think you're correct. Um, wait, no, we've got a downhill. We're fine. Oh, we're totally fine. We're fine. <laughs> we're making good time. Oh shit, what button's for the lights? Um, I don't know. Probably the one with the lights on it! It's Which right one? There. It's right there! It's right there! <laughs> Come make your down! Down! down. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> it has a light icon in it! Okay. Yes! It's literally that! Oh, God shit. damn it, this is a roundabout! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> sign okay okay we stopped you good uh no because it doesn't have text <laughs> oh great well you seem to really struggle with reading iconography <laughs> as we've established i recognize that it was a stop sign <laughs> you clearly couldn't see that the light icon meant lights <laughs> how am i meant to know that's a light icon that's very misleading how is that misleading that is literally the same light icon used all over the world in all cars even i could recognize it oh, well why don't you drive then because i don't know how to drive well that seems like a your problem i think i'm going i think this is a one-way street this might be a one-way street bravo you're doing really great so far i'm really proud of you Really proud okay, of I think this in. might not be a petrol station. Maybe? No, that's a border. Oh, it's a border check. Okay, okay. We'll I go get like ourselves shot. I unprepared for a border check. No, it's fine. I packed my passport. Oh, I get it. I have a Republic. passport. Car looks a little bit dirty though, it's but it's fine. Time. Okay, okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna go approach this guy. Maybe get shot. Well, he doesn't see me moving. Hello, good sir. Stop trying to cut up the board. Oh right? shit, I dropped my passport. You dropped your passport. <laughs> I dropped my passport and it disappeared. <laughs> well, that's not ideal. Uh, board is closed until morning. Okay. Okay. Uh, well. I feel like the border is closed forever now that I have. Wait, no, maybe the bar... maybe the passport went back into the car. 
Mm. Yes, I'm sure that's what happened. Okay, we're fine. Yep, there it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, if it's close to morning, I, I... Oh, that's not good. What? What's going wrong now? So the engine might not be starting? Have you tried having an engine? I, I installed the engine, yes. Oh. I packed that. That's a first. Okay, did we did it start? No, it did not start. Okay. Money and password always teleport to the glove box when you drop them. Okay, good, good, good. Well shit. Uh out of gas. Well, Emily, did you did you pack the gas? Why is it my job to pack the gas? You were in charge of the packing. We've established that. I don't like this. Shit. Uh Shit. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm just doing my thing and making this all work. We could start again. We could start again. Do you want to go back home. and you see my uncle and maybe pack things this time? If you could be bothered? Perhaps if you would write a list. <laughs> Pretty sure. Gas is at the top of it. Well, I'm having a gas. <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna start the day again. It's fine. It's fine. Wow, I love I love being delayed on these wonderful trips. I'm just trying to enjoy myself, have a good time, well, and as you can see, we're just time. we're just having a good rhythm here. We're just moving greatly forward. I love being completely stationary in my chair. Yeah. Why do you do this to me? I didn't do anything. You didn't pack the gas, remember? I like how, like many things in our marriage, things you do somehow boomerang back <laughs> to my position. Oh, I get it, because you're Australian. Yeah, like a like a kangaroo. Got it, got it. So all all your responsibilities boomerang back to me. Yes. Got it. Okay, because you're Australian. So if we go to Australia, it actually worked that time. It didn't reset my settings. Good. If we go to, uh... Just gonna skip the tutorial, don't need that. Australia, do, do your responsibilities stay with you? Do mine boomerang back to you, perhaps? No, that's not how that works. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, you're not Australian, so it doesn't work like that. Okay. Okay, I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh my god, it's starting again. I not being born Australian. Yes. We're not gonna take our uncle. This time, and the car I, car is... I will pack the fuel. Don't it's forget fine. the car as well. That's kind of important. Is it though? Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna take the gas. There we go. See, it's all good. Uh, what else should we pack? Probably some oil and some water. That would be good to have as a backup. Your 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 stream stream name got a, uh, a tweet saying that is an amazing pun for a Twitch name. I absolutely love it. That was just your your name. Aww. So see, you're popular. You're popular with the kids. Well, I'm glad to know I'm popular with the kids. You're very popular. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll take the bucket of water. Seems a little overkill, but you know. Okay, good. Uh, we don't really want to weigh it down too much more, but I feel like we should at least take one spare tire. And probably the car jack. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just felt like we needed a little extra down in there. Okay, I don't think we can take the car jack. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna throw down the bottle of water. We're gonna grab the car jack. And then let me pack the car jack. Well that's sad. 
Oh, okay. So you just gotta throw it away. Because why would we ever possibly need a card jack? It would let me pack oh, it. You can pack the bucket. I can pack the bucket. What the hell is the bucket for? The bucket's for cleaning the windows. The real question is, can I pack an extra tile? No, you can't. There's no room. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? Clearly. Would you like to? Would you like to? Would you like to maybe say something? Surely, if you're such a packing expert. Then why didn't we have fuel? <laughs> because you didn't pack it. Oh, clearly. Clearly. Okay, I definitely can't pack the car jack. Okay, if I take the water and oil out and put the car jack in, I might have room for them. Okay, so we'll take the water out, then we'll, uh... Oh no, that's the wrong water. Okay, we're gonna take that oil out, we're gonna take this bottle of water out. Get so much exercise from flipping. There we go. No, still won't let me pack it. Huh. Hmm. Mm. I wonder. Okay, well, I guess it. Let's, let's, let me try something. Okay. I'm gonna just throw it gonna, on the ground like just, a passport. Look, we, we need to... Oh, wow. Okay, that should make it fit. Oh, oh, my God. Uncle, shut up. No, don't, don't take your uncle. We're not taking the uncle. Don't worry. I really don't want to spend any more time with that. Okay, I don't... I don't need the sponge, I need the bucket. Maybe. But apparently you're just gonna take both, because who doesn't love transporting open liquid containers in cars? It's, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay, fine. there we go. We oh, made wow. it fit. Uh, and I think that should be good. Perhaps we should pack a spare battery? What do I know? I don't think we can make the battery fit, sweetheart. We can try. <laughs> We'll try. You need to be the master of making things fit. Nah, I can't make a battery fit, okay. sorry. Throw it, throw it on yeah. the ground. No, the uh, let, let the bucket of water is far more important. He's just <laughs> we can't get back mind. on the road. See, we're, we're, we're back in the car. Uh, you want to close the door? It's what I just did. I hope so. Okay, okay. We'll go with route... Let's go with route two. Um... I still have no idea to tell if I'm on the right route or not. But we'll find out. Okay. Keys in the ignition. Very important. There we go. Starts like a dream. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, no. There we go. And we're off. See? Oh, wait. Radio. Very important. See? We're all good. And this time, we remember to pack everything. Ooh. Got my nice Coca Cola in here with me. Yeah. My nice super soda. The stream sponsored by cola. The cola that you can drink. I do regret the fact that we do not have cocktails. That is my preferred soda. Yeah, that would be good. That would be that would be very appropriate for the stream. Cocktail's good. Cocktail and I just fried bread. I miss kvass. Kvass yeah, is really good. Kvass. Kvass is good. It's like drinking a can of bread. It is bread juice. It is bread juice. Stop you with that. I mean, I turn on the heater, but it would drain the battery faster. Oh, look. It's a glorious monument to uh, the existence of tanks. Okay, I'm just gonna overtake this guy on the roundabout. That's legal. Uh, okay, I am on the wrong side of the road. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure I'll be able to cross back over soon. Okay, now car, I need you to- yep, stay in that lane. Thank you. Okay, this is fine. Look, word rules are really more suggestions than laws. Oh, is that, is that how that works? Yes. Are you the driving expert now? Look, I'm from Australia. We drive on the fun side oh, of the road, okay, like Elvis said. Okay, yep. 
just gonna we're just gonna do a two lane change here. There we go. Avoid those cars. It's all good. You know, frankly, this side of the road's faster because we don't get stuck behind anybody. Is that how that works? Yeah, no, it's working. It's working, right? Look, we're fine. <laughs> Look, sweetie. Sometimes you just need to have some fun when you drive, and I like to live on the edge. <sighs> what a beautiful winter's day. The trees are singing. The birds are shining. Got beautiful music on the radio. Petrol's running low. What could be better? That's, that's the wrong button. That, that, no, okay. Where's the, no, okay. How do I, aha, there we go. Perfect, see? Now it's clean. <laughs> oh, great, great. I love, I love having a nice clean car. Yes, it's important. Improves performance. So anyway, how's your day been, sweetheart? Uh, horrible. That's why. Oh, why is that? We had to restart this, this road trip most of the thing. Only once. Oh, only once. Only right. once. Okay. We're doing good. Making good time. Yeah. Doing, doing great. Making really good time. Clearly. Yeah. I mean, I think we're doing good. We're, we're doing something. We're yeah. doing our best. The, the engine isn't smoking. I haven't crashed. <laughs> what if the AI cars flipped? Oh no, I took my eyes off the road for two seconds and something cool happened. <laughs> oh, that's wild. It's probably very confused that I'm on the wrong side of the road. Um, okay, we need to... Yeah, I can hear the sirens. They're probably they're probably not happy that I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. I hope there's a pull off soon so I can fix the car. Yeah, you're yeah. Your opinions don't matter, sweetheart. Well, thank you. At least you're being honest about it. I love you. I appreciate that. Why are there 25 Detective Conan movies? Detective Conan's a good show. You think of that? I try not to think. That is very dangerous around here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. I learned years ago not to think. It's one of the cornerstones of a good marriage. Screen's muddy. We'll leave it for now. We'll wait until it gets pretty muddy. I, I don't want to waste water, you know. Okay, so a car is coming, but I think it's one of the other ones, so we're fine. Two cars are coming. Okay, we're gonna have to merge. Uh, here's hoping I can pull this. Yep, there we go. Oh, perfect. Oh, I'm a great driver. Oh, holy shit, we can merge back onto the right side of the road again. Okay, good. Good, good, good. See, that all worked out. Uh, see, Emily? I told you it'd be fine. It was fine. Yeah. Okay, we're getting to town. We'll pull into a car parking lot and we will try and tune up the engine. Uh, we actually made it here during the day for one. We actually made it here during the day, but I'm not I'm sure we'll be able to get past the border before we have to, like... 
wasn't on the ground, it was in the dash. Oh, my bad. But we need to fix, we need to fix the engine. <clears throat> Very important. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop the hood. Mm -hmm. uh, tilt the car. Tilt Very the car. Very important at a 45 degree angle. Okay, so there's a couple of things going wrong oh, here. Just, hear just that? a couple. You hear that chat? Just one a or two. Of things going wrong. That's fine. I can I can fix it. I can fix this. It's fine. See? Is that how fixing things work? Just hitting them with a wrench? Okay. Great. Just drop it on the ground. Don't need it. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And our repair kit is gone. Oh. So you used up the repair kit. I had to repair the engine. Where are we going to get another repair kit? The repair kit store. And where would that be? We're not going to get to where we're going, are we? No, it'll be fine. It's not going to happen, is it'll it? It'll be fine. Okay, I think this... Yeah, that can... No, there's still some in that can. Okay, wait. Whoa. Whoa. Mm -hmm. It's running a little choppy in town, but that's okay. Oh, uh, I get a we choppy need... jalopy. Yeah, a choppy jalopy. Okay, so we need some oil add in optimal oil mix perfect flawless see i'm good at this i'm glad we have elvis here to to keep an eye on us and make sure that we actually know gonna, what we're doing just gonna clean the car up a little bit <laughs> elvis has my back elvis understands oh did you use up the sponge no no no. it just needs a bit more water mm -hmm. yeah, it's all good those, those cheap eastern european sponges we all know. Yeah. See? Nice having a clean, clean car. Sponge. It's important for doing cross borders, it I'm sure. It is important, yes. Okay, no, that didn't work. Look, if they see our car being filthy, they're going to be suspicious. Suspicious of what? Your ability to clean things? Yeah! Look, somebody shows up at a border checkpoint with a dirty car. That's clean enough. Okay, so I think it, we might have missed our window to get through the border tonight, I'm afraid. Oh, of course. Great. We have to, to stay somewhere. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> the sweater. I'm cold. Okay, stop signs. Really more suggestions than anything else. Aren't they? Uh, like, yeah, no, it's fine. I feel like they have more going for them than that. That's... No, 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 it's fine. Is it? Is it fine? Yeah. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> <gasps> Forget what, what, what oh, leave it's a petrol mean. station. Ekuiba mina Laika? It's, it's my something Laika. It's my Laika, now or never. My German trusty, okay? Okay, so we're just gonna stop our car. We're gonna get out. We got some time to kill before morning. Welcome, welcome to the chat, do you think? Yes, welcome! We're doing, we're doing good. Uh, no, okay. Elvis, feel free to backseat as much as you want, because I sure as hell will have no idea what I'm doing, and it appears that neither do they. Okay, so I wonder, can I... I love my Leica. Okay. Okay. How was how was my pronunciation? Did I get it's that okay? Still pretty empty. You have a minor like I think I'm getting it. We found the radio. I think so. Yes. Okay, there we go. See now we got plenty of fuel for the morning. Mm-hmm. Good time so far. We're only an yeah, hour making good in. time. Yes. Hey there, you look a little lost. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Take whatever you need off the shelves and place it through the window. Mm -hmm. If you have everything you need, you can pay by using your wallet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we need some cigarettes. That's important. It's your gelatin. Uh, sausages. Yep. We all love the we need some. We need some sausages. Uh, I don't think we need water. 
Might need some oil though. I don't speak German either. Disappointed when you talk in the game. Great. Well, we're on equal footing then. Furba. Uh, I think you'll find it's a well, crapper. If there's one thing I learned about, if there's one thing I learned for, oh wait, we definitely need a repair kit. I hope I have enough money for this. If there's one thing I learned from Half Life, it's uh, crowbars are important. Okay, now where's my wallet? How fat do you even like know how to make money? Oh God, no. I'm sure it's easy. Mm-hmm. Clearly. So you have a hundred dollars. It's fine. It's fine. They're not dollars. They're like uh like Euro marks or whatever. There we go. Okay. Sometimes the shop bugs back. out and we can't escape. Oh well, you know, that's that's my life. Yeah, I hate when I get stuck in the shop. Wait, I can just drop that. There we go. Just just dropping money on the ground. Yeah, no, it's fine. My car will pick it up for me. Wait, can I pick up two things at once? That would speed up. Oh, I can pick up two things at once. That Ooh, will yeah, speed up the process. The car. Yeah, I've got to carry it to the car. No, you never do. It's my lot in life. Be pampered. Put that there. Put the crowbar in there with the jack. Yeah, well, you actually managed to get it to fit. Yeah, I'm good at this. <laughs> Proud of you. I'm learning something new every day. Sausages, very important. Oh, there's a basket outside, apparently. Oh! I didn't think of that. Well, we only have the cigarettes left you anyway, so it's do. fine. There we go, and one pack of cigarettes. <laughs> okay. Good information for later. I will put that in my back pocket, which apparently I can't do with the cigarettes. Baskets can contain many small things. Who would have thought? It is true. Perfect! See? I made everything fit. Miraculous. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good at I'm this. I'm impressed. Pie is now available for purchase. Ooh. We don't have any money. Oh, we don't, don't drop your bucket. Money. Wait, you drop the bucket? No, 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 that's that's the bucket from... Oh, from that's the, the common bucket. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the, the common bucket. use bucket. That's the bucket that can just... But whilst we're here, we, we gotta wait for the border anyway, so we might as well finish cleaning up our uh, car. Apparently, the bucket... You can uh, have it tilted on its side and it'll still hold water somehow. Yeah, no, it's fine. See, we've got a nice pristine car. The border guard is going to come up to you and be like, none of your story holds water. Oh, I get it. No, because of my passport. Because you poorly told the Fraser no, you poorly told the Fraser story. Why is this I just my, sat again, there and listened. Why is this my fault? You, you were the decided one to tell the story. Your own dream. Look, look, it was a difficult dream to remember, okay? Well, what's difficult to remember about it? It was very iconic. I mean, when Faye Valentine showed up, that just wasn't very believable. <laughs> okay, I, I think we're good. Don't really know what to do till morning, but we're good. How is it only 6 p.m.? Right? Now, let's see. I guess we could read. Oh. Well, that's not uh, good. Uh, um, that's that's not ideal. Don't get out of the car. <laughs> You're thirty feet in the air. It's fine. Okay, like more like a meter, but still. What? What? See, uh, we're fine. <laughs> this is fine. See, we're outside of the car. Uh -huh. Just gonna close the door. Uh huh. Uh, I'm gonna open the door again, and then. Great. Just uh... just and <laughs> what are you gonna do? That's a good question. Uh... <laughs> okay, so this one isn't my fault. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe did I fix it? No, I can't move. I am now trapped on top of my vehicle. Miraculous. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Are you figuring it out? Did you fix it? We might have... I can open the door. Great. Okay. We're off to a good start. I can't open the bonnet, and I can't reach the boot. Um, you have a crouch button? I do, but it's not working. Elvis, if there was ever a time for backseat <laughs> driving, it is now. Um, I'm... Well, wait, wait, wait. I saw a mouse prompt somewhere. You'll get there. I believe in you. Just gotta wiggle your way through. Up. Oh, up. Oh. Oh! Holy shit! We did it! <laughs> See, it's fine. Okay, whoop, now I got back out of the car. Now we want to get back on in the car, then we want to close the door. Okay, okay, it's all good. Now I'm going to check my route and make sure I'm going in the right direction. Uh, I think I am. I don't know how to check. Okay, well, whilst we're here, we might as well read some of the owner's manual. Okay. Gotta stop at the motel. Okay, okay, we'll do that instead then. Uh, if I can work out how to get there. Love, love to stop at the motel. I'm a big fan of the motel stop. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Interesting. Turn on the sealer and light even when the car is off. That's fair. No need to lock our car, I see. Well, I hope not. Okay, we're just gonna get out. I can't take the keys out of the engine regardless. I hope no one steals my Leica. I love my Leica. No, you eek. Leave a minor like that. When in 20 Rome. for the room. Okay. Did you just... Okay, how do I... Did you just pinch that poor woman? <laughs> Everyone is honest here, says Fig. Alcohol factory burns down. Well, that's not good. Okay. Well, I think I need my wallet. And then we can pay for the room. Love to pay for things. I have $27 left. Oh, only $27. I wonder how much the room is going to be. $20. Think we should have packed the tent. 2C on the second floor. Do not disturb the other guests. Oh, wait, the key, that's relatively important, so we're just going to drop that. Okay. Sometimes the gas tank empties when you turn the car off, unless they fix that recently. We're going to ransack the place. No, we're not doing that. Okay, we're just going to go straight out to 2C. Pleasant, pleasant evening spent doing pleasant evening things like watching my. Why is there a girl. rug on the wall? Because it's the Soviet Union. That's like what they do. That's like their thing. Rugs on walls? Yes, literally. It's both to act as soundproofing, but also it's nice decor. It's like a painting that has soundproofing, and it keeps things a little bit warmer, and it breaks up the concrete. Can flush the toilet. Did this is so immersive. No, no, it was already pissed in. Ah, uh, pre pissed bathroom. Yeah, it's one of the perks of staying in the hotel. Okay, Just nothing. Gotta open these up and, and check them. Yeah, no, you never know if there's any, like, money. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna say that they know what they're doing, but. Oh, wow, wow. Time for a nap. Wow, that animation is intense. It's a good animation. <laughs> You're a good animation. You're a good animation. Gay smooches here on this stream. That's what everyone's here for. 
we're all we're all here for the game too. Well, I can't take my key back. I'm sure it'll be night. fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Is it even daytime yet? Did you sleep through? I hope so. Thank you, Zoe. I, I know went to bed. Here for the game. Well, I got in the bed. I got out of the bed. That's how. That's hope, how sleeping I hope works. Everyone right? realizes this is just a bit. I actually love my wife very much, and we never, ever fight, ever. Doesn't happen. Never happen. Okay, what time does that say? Time for you to go to the board. Like, 6.15? It's day. Wait, no, I want to be in my cup. Okay, no. Okay, okay. It's good? It's Tell good. Us, is it gay to love your wife? Mildly gay. But, like, good kind of gay. Okay, now I need to find out how to get the water. Hopefully I slept long enough. Zoe, I need to bounce some ideas off of you for cool little things we can do in UI with, with a nice little effect, you know what I mean? I'm trying to think of what to do. It's all kinds of stuff we can do, presumably. I have a good try. Woo! I know what we could do. We could record the stream background. And since that remains relatively static. You just try to run over the border guard. So did my luck. Okay, so that says no cigarettes, and I just spent a lot of money on cigarettes. I think they mean no smoking. I don't think that they mean that you can't have cigarettes on. I think they mean I can't have cigarettes on. Oh, now you're a perfect interpreter of iconography. Do we want to get shot? Do you want to risk it? I don't think that's how things work, but feel free to throw away the cigarette. Pretty you sure just tried to run work. him over and he didn't shoot you. I think you're good. Look, look, it's fine. It's, uh, okay, well, we I'll trust you. We spend We spend money on the cigarettes. We'll tripping. keep the cigarettes. It'll be fine, I'm sure. No one's going to search my car. I'm not an expert. Okay. How do I... Do you want to see? No, he doesn't want to see my passport. How do I? Where's Benry when you need him? Don't, Benry don't. When I need him? Oh my god, don't try to break in. This isn't the. Oh! Well, I got through the border. <laughs> we did it! There's no CRC plate, is there? <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> yeah, we're in a very liminal space right now. The space of my patience. <laughs> Goodbye, world. <laughs> Freedom! Okay, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna save and quit, and then we're gonna try and continue, and maybe, maybe that'll fix it. Okay, it gives me time to quit that atrocious moment. <laughs> we did cross into the astral plane. I didn't know my passport would work for that, but apparently, uh, I was allowed to go all the way out there. Okay. Okay, automatically resets quality. I hate that feature. Okay, we're gonna continue. We'll be fine. Okay, it'll be fine. I'm not going to materialize outside of the border. I hope. Okay, good, good. We're back in the motel. Fantastic. Okay, onwards we go. We lived through your last slap. Great. So we have plenty of opportunities to correct mistakes. Uncle, what are you doing here? I left you at home. No, 
would he, he was worried about you. He wanted to check up on you. Why would he be worried about me? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm worried about you. <sighs> There's nothing to worry about. There we go. Perfect. And we're off. And we're off. See, we're doing good. <laughs> Maybe falling through the world is this game's description of what it's like to be shot for trying to cross the border illegally on foot. Couldn't be a bug. No, it's too immersive to be a bug. Um, oh, look at that beautiful sunrise. Okay, so apparently it's a drive through checkpoint, so we're just going to keep pushing through. Last time it only stopped me in front, I think, because I ran out of fuel exactly as I reached the border. Which wasn't ideal, honestly. Okay. Papers, please. Okay. Glory to our Stutzka. Okay, let's see here. Yep, I'm gonna get shot. He didn't even notice I had cigarettes. I'm gonna say you declare your route before we can allow you passage. You can do this by using the map and selecting your route. Okay, first off, I'm. Okay, I can't turn off the engine to save fuel. Okay, what route are we gonna take, Emily? Uh, the one where we have options to buy things because we clearly see it continually running out. Well, there's a short one, or we can take a long one, and that has a gas station. Ooh. The gas station. Yeah, gas station it is. We can reach that. Uh, there is, however, a thunderstorm, so uh, it's gonna be interesting. See, it's all good. Right, I need to turn the radio back on. Some streams would be good for that. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> 420, the sex numbers. Okay, we might be on a little bit of a muddy road here, but that's fine. Okay, our engine might be smoking a little bit. Let's have a look. I'm proud of your ability to, to recover on the road trip there. It works. You, yeah. You go. And here's the crowbar that I prepared earlier. Finally. To do what with exactly? What are you trying to accomplish we can here? Then break dropping a crowbar. Open. 
I like Supposedly how we can break these open, but I don't know how. I like Elvis. Care to give us some advice? Just grab him. I think you're grabbing a little bit. Okay. There's meant to be a way for me to break these open. Aha. There, there we go. go. Didn't even need Elvis's help. Look at you. Medicine? Why do we need medicine? Sometimes you just need medicine, you know? Okay, what's well, a medicine? Okay. Let's see, what can we get rid of to grab some medicine? You know what? I don't think we need the bucket of water. So let's, let's grab some medicine. Uh, let's see. Coffee beans, cell value 3. Medicine has cell value 33. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put... Okay, we just have to grab individual things of medicine. I feel like it would have been better to have just kept them in the box. That's okay. Okay, grab three at a time. There we go. Perfect. Good. Just gonna grab a bunch of these. Okay. Very valuable. So Funny. we're gonna make some money. We're in a stream about a road trip, and I'm coordinating the road trip somehow. So it all it all really just comes together. Yeah, no, it's perfect. I don't know where we sell these though, is my only concern. Uh at at the money store? I asked the money store. Very famous album. Okay, I think we'll load it up Gas on medicine. Before you know. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, that's how we make money, is finding random crap on the side of the roads and selling it. Truly the Europe experience. Okay, so I think we're loaded up on medicine, which is good. Um, now, whilst we're here, we should probably... Right, I need to pop the, I need to pop the hood. Oh. There we go, and we're going to grab the repair kit. Mm -hmm. Oh, we might actually have some more room, depending on how much the engine is broken. I guess, I guess we have another charge left. Mm, do we want to keep it for the extra charge or do we want to stock up on some more medicine? Stock up on the medicine, I feel like it's more valuable. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah. It's a bit of a risk, but I guess it's a risk we're willing to take. I mean, you're pretty good at organ war trading simulator, so... Hmm, hmm, okay. So if it's contraband, the ones in the seas won't take, the ones on the road will. Interesting. Okay. That's good to know. Well, we might as well grab some coffee beans whilst we're at it. There we go. See, we're stocking up. So we're going to make a mint, Emily. We're going to make mint. Mm -hmm. There we go. Plenty of goods. And I think we're all good to go. Just that. And we're gonna get started. Alright, so my response is a little bit sporadic as you can see we are currently moving around the world streaming live on the Twitch. <laughs> that one huh that's fine I'll, I'll fill it up when we stop our car next or when the windshield gets completely unviewable whichever comes first I need 
keep our eyes out for a gas station to sell a contract. Oh, excuse me. Technology's acting up on the road. Like the medicine. I feel like I probably should have replaced our tires with off the tires, but it seems to be doing fine. It's cooled up. I'm just waiting for a loud pop. smuggling contraband. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Hit that bell icon. I'm a good driver. <laughs> contraband is my favorite musician. Okay, I should probably slow down into this. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, well we need to refill our water anyway, and Probably our fuel tank, because it's getting a little bit low. This car is so... like, constantly thirsty. Yeah, it is pretty thirsty. What the hell is thirsty. that? It's a box. No, in the sky! Textiles. Eh, they don't seem to have much value, but I guess we'll take them? We have some spare room, we can always get rid of them later. What the hell is the giant yellow thing on the horizon? It's the sun! you never seen the sun? I don't think it's bright enough to be the sun. That is the sun. It's shaped That's like an egg. Sun. Okay. I do love it. <laughs> Eggs are good. That's why they call it sunny side up. Okay, let's see. Is that why they call uh, it sunny side up? I don't yes. My egg's glowing. Okay, so we're gonna grab the we're gonna grab the petrol. We're gonna pop the hood. There we go. We're gonna just fill her up. Dump it all in. What a convenient little There we go. Perfect. Then we need some oil. <laughs> Freeze the sun. And also, don't forget optimal oil mix. That's good. Join the Discord. Yeah, the Discord's fun. And I once we get, we're gonna pull up our water. Command. It should just be exclamation Discord. I did exclamation Discord, but I also did exclamation social. But I guess you just don't have that set up. No, I'm too lazy to do that. We'll get it squared away. That's what's really important at the end of the day. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so it's getting a little bit late. Uh, right, might want to close the hood first. That would be good. It would be useful. It would be useful. Yeah, no, that would help. We're gonna get in. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna close the door. There we go. Spray some water. Start the car. We're gonna turn on our lights. And onwards we go. See, you're making great time. I'm sure, it's the middle of the night, but it's fine. <laughs> okay. I do miss that. Were good. They were actually good, but I think, they really allowed, good. I think they allowed people to promote content too easily without being filtered by the algorithm. So they were like, nope, yeah. gotta throw this wait, picture wait, away. Wait, wait, wait. What's it uh, it looks like a building. A shack. Oh my god, it's raining. It's like the perfect staging for a horror film right now. Do we really need to do this? Yes. Yeah, 
look, I'm sure this will be fine. Fine is Everyone's honest here. Remember? That's one button. Okay. Okay, let's let's go say hi to whoever's in this building. I think there's there's no one in this building. I don't think there's been anyone in this building for a long time. Well, that box is empty. It's an empty box. What did you expect to find? I don't know, something good? Uh huh. Eldest says wow. <laughs> wow. Feels similarly to be real with you. Crowbar, pop that sucker open. Ooh, some kind of weird liquor. Liquor is good. Probably should turn off my uh, lights first, huh? Okay, so we're gonna get rid of the textiles. Not worth much. Wait a minute, this is just stalker with a car. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna drop that map. Grab the textiles, we're gonna drop the textiles. Blue type. We're gonna throw that. And we're gonna put this. No. 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 Okay, we need no. to Okay, so first off, I'm gonna I'm gonna just turn off my lights. And probably my windshield wipe is actually wouldn't, wouldn't wanna be at night when you worry about your car battery going out. Yeah, a little bit. Probably a smart decision, to be honest with you. Yeah, see, I made good decisions. Sometimes. Sometimes. Marrying me was a choice. It was a choice. Wow, you don't have to agree with a me. A good choice. Because I love you very much. Yeah, I got out of that one. There we go. And we're just going to close the trunk. We're going to get back in the car. Close the car door. On. There we go. And lights. And onwards we go. You know what, sweetheart? I could really go for another beverage. Looting all that wine has made me thirsty. Now that was my old screen name. Okay, onwards we go. I can't help but notice that the car seems a little bit tilted. I think it might be a little bit left heavy, but that's okay. Oh, engine smoking, that's not good. Well, we don't have anything to repair it with, so we need to just hold out hope. Otherwise, it's gonna be very bad. We might not make this, but I have hope. If not, I can always walk to the gas station. Thank you so much. Ah, so the engine's smoking, we don't have a repair kit. It's normal, no, another normal day in my Leica. I'm gonna turn the radio back on, that's very important. I like it, I like it a lot. I'm not sure I'm meant to get across. Did I take a wrong turn? No, it's in Stuttgart. I 
do get to drive through Augusta Valley. Okay, we get to try and find a way around the bridge. Hmm, I think I have an idea. It's a little bit risky, but it might just work. Uh, I try my best not to have ideas, but I fear that in this case I may have to have an idea. And that idea is driving on the train tracks. not be doing great. It's, it's chugging a little bit. Just a bit. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know that I... Oh, it worked! Oh, I can't believe that actually worked. Haha! <laughs> Thank you, Elvis. I am glad to know that I am in good company. <laughs> okay. Okay, now hopefully we're going in the right direction. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a tricky move here. So I like to call a 12 point turn. Yeah, no. It's all good. Great when you start naming algebra. Yeah. Turn that off. Turn our wipers off. Turn our lights off. And we're gonna get out and we're gonna get rid of some of this contraband. Okay, so. Uh, let's see, there should be a tray into which I can load multiple objects. There we go. Now to work out how to sell things. And how to put them in the box. Aha! Uh -huh. See, we're learning. I told you smuggling contraband would work. I'm gonna be rich. Okay, now the question is, do I just put the whole tray through, or...? Oh, that's a lot of money. Oh, okay, we're getting that money. Well, that's nice. Yes. I was like, why are you going in the shopping <laughs> tree? Yeah, no, I think the only thing that's banned this run is cigarettes. Which we do have a pack of, which they didn't take at the border check, which I'm kind of surprised by. Hopefully they will buy them. Okay, getting it. There we go. Just need to click the outside of the interior. Okay, one more. There we go. And we can buy plenty of repair kits with this. <laughs> Interesting. Curious to find out. Okay. Okay, so she has a maximum purchase amount. Good to know. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up the rest of our stuff. There we go, and then we're going to take our wallet in, get that money. Made $250. See? I told you picking up random things at the side of the road would work. It did do something. It did do something. 
Okay, we're gonna grab this. Yeah, no, he was feeling uh, pretty lazy. Cancel more after I fuel up, yeah. There we go, 261. Then we're gonna fuel up, we're gonna grab a repair kit, repair the car, and then we should be able to sell the rest. Okay. Um, I think that's a good, good point. Somewhere after you buy food. Yeah. I think we'll grab a repair kit first. Textiles, weapons. Okay. Now uh, let's see. Tire repair kits. That's good. So we'll grab a normal repair kit. Yes. There we go. Uh, we'll grab the tire packet just because it's good to have. And I think grab some more two stroke oil. Excuse me. Nothing she's selling is really worth me buying. Textiles are cheap, they might be more expensive down the road, but we'll stick with that for now. Okay, so, grab our wallet, go and pay. There we go. That back. And we're going to grab these three items. Perfect. And we'll just put them... Okay, so I can't pack all of these. That's okay, because there is some stuff we can pull out of here. And sell some more things. So first off, there is... There we go. Up the hood. And... Good! There we go. We're going to take the tire repair kit and the two stroke fuel. I'm going to get rid of one of the empties. That's. Yeah, no, nah, it's not worth it. That one's completely full, I think. Okay, so we're pretty good with two stroke oil. Uh, now let's see. Our road tires are kind of non durable. I'm wondering if maybe we should just replace those whilst we're here. Might be worth doing. Okay, uh, let's have- oh wait, no! Car must be jacked up and we'll loose in order to be used. Oh, I didn't bring the tire jack, did I? Oh my goodness. Oh shit. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna sell some things. I have a jack? Okay. Wait, I have a jack, but I don't have I don't have the thing to loosen the bolts. So I can't loosen my tires, which isn't ideal. Uh that's okay. Okay, we'll go in and sell these. We'll grab one of those. It's part of the jack. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, she can't afford to buy those. Fair enough. Well, we need to refuel first anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to move the car into a position where we can get our fuel. Whoop. I am a good driver. Okay, now we get. Oh, what a nice night, though. What a great night for a road trip. Okay, right. I have to pop the pop the hood. <laughs> I'm I'm rather proud of this meme. <laughs> oh dear. Am 
might as well fill our fuel tank vessel here. Oh, I think this place just closed with us in it, which isn't ideal. Perfect. There we go, plenty of spare fuel for the trip. And what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh... Hmm. Okay, so. Well, since we're already here, do we want to replace the... Actually, let's have a look at our engine. I'm curious. Oh, yep. That needs repair pretty bad. Yeah, I think we're just going to replace the tires. I think that gate closes when you owe money. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. We are doing a lot of off-road trucking. Okay, we'll buy three tires. We have plenty of money right now. Uh, we'll buy another one. There we go. By the tires, we should be able to sell the rest of our stuff. Then we can grab a repair kit. Let's see, I'm, I'm thinking ahead. I'm mm -hmm. using my brain. You are, you are really thinking and you use your brain. Let's see, we still got like a hundred odd dollars. Uh, that tire is clipped through the wall. That's probably not ideal. Okay, so we're just going to put the tires here. Nice stack of tires. You bitch, you charged me for it, but I can't grab it. Oh, there we go. It's <laughs> always a way. Life it's always a way. way. Life does find a way. <laughs> okay, now let's see. Then for a we need the car jack. One works. There we go. Ah, so I didn't accidentally lose the jack before, it just automatically goes back onto that. Mm -hmm. mm, good to know. Yeah, no, we're getting there, we're getting there. There we go. I'm just going to throw those on. <laughs> Is that on all the way? That was on all the way. There we go. Oh, I love repairing my car. What a good feeling. Just going to grab the jack, put it on the other side. Place those tires, give our car a quick clean, sell the last of our stuff, and I think we'll be good to go. Yeah. So immersive. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> My car is very tired. Yes, you are right, VFEG. <laughs> Okay, now let's see. I think we want a normal repair kit. I might have to move that two-stroke oil over there. 
but it's good to have on hand just in case. And then we'll give our car a little bit of a clean. We should be good to go. Okay, so let's have a look. Not sure if it's worth buying any of this stuff to sell anywhere else. Probably not. We seem to find a lot of stuff on the side of the road. Uh, ooh, wet tires. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. But, we've committed to the off-road tires. I think they're all at sell value zero at the moment. Because, yeah, they're all, like, one durability. <laughs> um... Right, I need to I need to give this to her. And then there we go. Still doing pretty good on money, which is good. Uh actually, whilst I'm here, I might as well just grab some of the medicine and whatnot. I can do this in like two traps. I don't need the thing. Damn, that's a lot of money. Hmm, excuse me. Okay, might as well sell the the de worst. Sadly, not the best. Okay, so that's as much as she can purchase. That's good. Don't think it's worth purchasing anything else. Uh, the road tire would probably be good to replace with like an off road tire, but I think it's good for now. Mismatched tires might be a bit of a problem. But hopefully it won't come. Right, I need my wallet. That's that's an important thing. Wallets with money to buy things, goods and services. There you go. Two hundred and twenty-four dollars left. That's that is. We have come out with a nice, pretty penny. Okay, let's see. I don't think it'll let me put this in here. No. Okay, so we're gonna have to get a little bit creative here, I think. Uh, might not actually have the room. Oh, that's that's a tough one. Uh, okay, I, I actually have a plan. So I'll grab this, move that there, maybe? No. Okay, so we'll grab the medicine from that. I think we need like a full... Oh, don't know what that did. Uh, need like a full-sized rack area. No, still won't work. Ah, but I know what we can do. We can put that there. Aha! Aha! <laughs> That's for if I flip. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. That one's kind of empty. Oh, right. I never did actually put oil in my car. I should do that just in case. <laughs> Packing the boot optimally is a core part of the game. I believe it. Seems like it's, you know, it's it's complicated. Learning how to slot everything in well. But I think, you know, we've got a pretty good setup. Uh, water bottle. Okay. Water bottle's kind of empty, so I figure we should probably just buy a new one. Um, actually, we'll use what little's in there to refill that thing first. Oh, that's a point. I should have used that. Oh, dang. I didn't think of that. I am not smart. That's okay. Sometimes you have to be smart if you got looks. Sadly, I wouldn't know about that. Okay, now we will buy another bottle of water and be good to go. Oh god, why are my allergies acting up so much today? Jeez. Ooh, textiles are 25% off. Maybe we should buy some... Well, they don't seem to have much of a sell value. Nah, we'll just, we'll just keep going with what we find on the ground. <laughs> okay. How's my Okay, uh, let's have a look. We need cash. Okay. There we go. 
219. That's pretty solid. We've made out with a good mint. Okay, so... Oh. Also makes oil in the gas can. Interesting. But it doesn't do anything besides waste oil. Okay. Okay. Let's see, we've got our repair kit. We've got a tire repair kit in case we get a flat. It has... It only has one charge. Hmm. I'm... I don't think we have enough space for a second one, though. <sighs> we might just have to go with one for now. That's okay. Okay, but whilst we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to close the doors and we're going to clean off our car a little bit. There we go. Get a sponge. There we go. Good. God, there's nothing quite like having nice, fresh new tires. And we'll clean off the front of the windscreen. And then I think we're good to go. <laughs> Precise aiming makes everything super fiddly. Yeah, no, it's 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 great though. It's like I'm I'm really enjoying this. I didn't expect this game to be anywhere near this immersive. I'm kind of shocked. Honestly. Like, shocked in a good way. In a happy way. Okay, I think our car is good. Okay, well, let's get these tires out of the way so we don't drive over those. And then I think we're good to just keep pushing on. We can't sell anything more to her. We've already purchased everything that we need. Uh, gas is full, oil in there, water's full, everything's repaired, and we have off-road tires now. I think we're pretty solid. Okay. Perfect. Onwards we go. And onwards to Stervo. Stervo? Stervo. And we have off-road tires now. God. This feels so much smoother. Oh, this is nice. And we gotta keep an eye out for anything on the side of the road. That medicine was such a boon. Holy shit. <laughs> I am still not using my headlights. You are correct. Or my windshield wipers. Or the radio, for that matter. There we go. Excuse me. Jeez. And I think we're in town. Nice. Let's see. No... No coffee. I'm pretty sure we sold all our coffee already. But it is the middle of the night, so we're gonna have to find a motel. Time for another famous 12 point turn. Well, some loud noise just came from my kitchen. I hope it's not a bad noise. Where's the motel? Where's the town's gas station? The motel was. Just opposite it last time. Maybe it's around here? No, that appears. Wait, is that the edge of the world? No, no, that's just a downhill. Okay, we're good. Where is this motel hiding? Jeez. I think buying the off road tires might have been a little bit of a. Uh, a minor boondoggle, as we say. Now that we appear to be back on the road. Um, 
would like a sign. Oh, really? That's where I can buy upgrades. Interesting. We're gonna check that out. Jeez, I'm already burning through fuel. I do not think these tires are economical on the on road. But that's okay. Just need to get through the checkpoint. Also find parts in ruined cars at the side of the road. Interesting. Greetings. Feel free to look through our catalog. Hmm. Ooh. A roof rack. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, Jesus, so much here. <laughs> Mission coils, air filters, carburetors, fuel tanks. Oh, geez, I have no idea what to get. Well, it doesn't appear to be any extras, which is sad. stroke oil. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, what's good to get, I guess? I am not good with cars at the best of times. Probably your stout fuel tanks. Jeez, those are some hefty fuel tanks. Stock's always the same. Hmm, interesting. Well, it doesn't seem to have extras available. Well, let's have a look at the, uh... Can I mouse? I can't mouse wheel through the pages by the looks of it. At least as near as I can tell. I can't click on them, though. <laughs> No, it just appears to be the uh, the side menu, sadly. I wonder. Okay, let's try reopening it and have a look. Yeah, no, that just opens this, this drop-down menu. Oh, wait, no, now it's allowing me to do things. Okay. Roof rack. I do not have enough money for a roof rack. <laughs> oh, that's sad. That is sad. Should I just save my money or should I buy a better engine? Hello. Hmm. I could try and sell more stuff at the shop in town. That is a good point, actually. Let's go do that. We've got plenty of time. My only concern is my fuel running down as a whoop oh, whoop, oh, did not mean to do that. Is so my fuel running down driving around town in these uh off-road tires? Yeah, how was that? Good, I'm glad. Would you like to know that my wife's getting a rest? Okay, we're gonna go to the store and we're gonna sell some more stuff. And then we're gonna try and buy a roof rack so we can carry more stuff so that we can sell more stuff. Oh, this uphill is going to be a pain. Come on, little Leica, you can make it. You can make it. We're doing it. Moving a whole 20 kilometers per hour. Those tires are really doing my work right now. So 
one where you have a built-in Jack and Furbot and a pick. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Now I'm just gonna turn off everything that requires the battery, just in case. Okay, let's have a look. Just gonna grab one of these. Okay. We have plenty of medicine and cigarettes. We can make some decent money from that. That's like a good 150, 200 bucks. Hey, <laughs> yes. Nice, hundred dollars. It's pretty good. Ooh, this medicine is cheap. How can we buy this? Oh, and cheap wine, too. Although that's still pretty pricey. Yeah, we'll just buy that cheap medicine for now. There we go. That should leave us with enough money, although it won't leave us with it. Mm, if we grab the roof rack, we won't have enough money left over for the, uh, we won't have enough money left for the motel, is my only concern. Yeah, no, the door sticking sometimes is great. Okay, so we're gonna just drop our money, uh, put that in, whoop. That in there, that in there. Yeah, I do need to sleep. I I think I'm just gonna have to pass up on the roof rack and grab it the next opportunity I get. Sadly. That's okay. That's what I'm to do. I'll tell you what, let's let's look at their let's look at their catalog and see what they have here that is selling for cheap. Uh wine's only 25% off. Sausage is a full price. Yarn is also only 25% off and it's kind of worthless. Yeah, a little money for fuel and repairs is not a bad idea. I think we just stick with what we've got. Um, uh, is it worth grabbing another repair kit is the question. Or another, another wheel repair kit. Hmm... How are our wheels doing? Eh, the three durability still. I think we should be fine. We should be fine. Okay. What I might do though, just to reduce the wear on the other tires, is I might sell this normal road tire and I might grab an off-road tire for the same here. Um, so I have one left in stock. That way I'm not left with like mismatched tires. And that might just come out eh, almost even. It's only $5. That's pretty good. Okay, hopefully we get a path that's an off-road and we find some stuff whilst we're going there. That'll be good. And we hit up the motel and grab a night's sleep. And then we continue on. Let's see if we can't find some things on the road. There we go. Good. See, I'm thinking ahead, Emily. I'm using my brain. I do that sometimes. And it's been known to happen. Very rarely. Okay. Should get in our car. And then onwards to the motel. If I can find it. Let's try to the left. Ah, there it is. Perfect. Let's park across three spaces. That's fine.
Wait, I need my wallet. That's right. <laughs> Favorite glitches in the game is selling so much stuff that it piled up too much on the left of the till and physics exploded back out of the shop so you can pick it up and sell. Oh, now that's a hell of a scheme. I love it. Oh, that's great. I kind of love how, like, mildly glitchy this game is. It's, it's kind of great. It's, it's kind of really great. Charming. Yeah. Hmm. Hanging out with my wife on a road trip. It's nice. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What's what's on the news today? Shortage of meat and Hungary sees prices soar. Hmm. Are we going to Hungary though? Shortage of Hungary? Yeah, shortage of Hungary. Well, that means everyone's eating honey. Oh. Oh, I see. Must have made drinks. Okay. Well, I'll grab some meat in the morning then. I'm grabbing that. Yeah. I love to hear about that. <laughs> For some reason. That sleepy animation. Oh, sleeping? Sounds great. Don't, don't fall asleep. Why not? Good navigate. Navigating is fun. I love that game. That's I'm here for comedic coil. Okay, onwards we go. Let's go buy some sausages. Maybe quickly fuel up and we will continue on through the border. Uh, wait, I think the border might have said no meat. We'll check. No, no coffee. Okay, so we can take meat. Good. <laughs> no food allowed. No food allowed. Truly awesome. Sweetheart, this is this is East Germany. Mm -hmm. You're, all You're allowed to have meat in Australia? What are you talking about? Okay, so if I go up to the Australian border right now, go. Well, I they won't let you take it with them, with you across the border. But you're allowed to have meat. Australia has meat. Yeah, but I can't bring meat across the border. I mean, I guess. <laughs> okay, we'll pop the boot. Or the hood, I should say. Uh, open her up. See, I don't want to make the audience think I'm yawning. So every time I have to yawn, I just made it a strange noise. That, like growling or <laughs> yelling or screaming or singing. It's very effective. Keeps everyone alert. Yeah, no. Keeps me awake. There we go. Optimal oil mix. That's good. So there's some oil left. Uh, now let's have a look. We're gonna go grab a whole bunch of sausages. <laughs> Making money, baby. Shake that money oh, bigger. they sold out of sausages overnight. I should wow. have grabbed some before I went to sleep. That's okay. Everyone needs midnight sausages. Yeah, sometimes you need some midnight sausages. Look, two lots of sausages. We still have some like medicine we got on the cheap, um, which is pretty good. No, it's it's fine. It's fine. Could have had a full load of meat, but two loads of meat is good. Two hundred and eighty-five. That'll leave us with like two sixty-ish. No, two seventy-five. That's good. There we go. We'll just grab our packaged meat products, and onwards we shall go. Yeah, nah, I can't go on a road trip without a couple of snags. Hundred percent. What if an election happens? Yeah, but an election happens. I mean, Australian government can call them whenever they want. Okay, onwards we go.
Okay, yes. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. Feature request, please let us cook sausages on the hunting shed, right? Right? That would make it a lot better, honestly. It would make sense. Please, please. It's... Oh wait, no, our, win our window was already our window was already down. Okay, that's good. Just gonna give him our papers. Okay, let's see here. Everything seems to be in order. Fantastic. Declare the route. Okay. Uh, well, let's have a look. Let's see if there's anywhere off road. Hmm. Ooh, do we want to go the question marks way? Do we want to go the 350 oh, with a lot of want, like you crunchy you want boys? The want the question marks? You know you want we the want the question marks. marks. Let's the go to the question marks. marks. Oh, this it. can only end well. Marks, like Karl Marx. Is where he used to hear of. Yes. Yes, like Karl Marx, Emily. 100%. You're right. Question mark is me. Yes. I agree. This can only end well. Hmm. Mm. Most important part, I've got to turn on the radio. Sometimes you just need to use this black mesa sweet uh sweet place. Question marks, Deutsch marks, question mark, recursive. I like it. <laughs> oh, God. oh wait, what? I literally just fixed you, engine. What are you doing? Oh good. I we just left. It's fine. It's fine. We'll park. I'll fix it. Then I won't have a repair kit anymore. <sighs> I hate you, car. You're a piece of shit. We'll fix it once we're over the bridge. I should probably drive on the right side of the road, huh? good start you know it's just as well we don't get in trouble for going on the wrong side of the road so i'm not good with uh knowing what side of the road i'm meant to be on apparently uh it's just not saying it really occurs to me <laughs> oh good lord everything's breaking again just remember pilk. pilk is good although it's pilk is not as good as pogut pogut is far superior <laughs> what the hell is pogut Pogut is when you mix Pepsi and yogurt. No. Yeah. Bad. Well, you've never had Pogut. You haven't lived. Why not? It's good. It's good for you. It's tasty. It's healthy. Why don't you want to be full of pilk, Emily? Yeah, pilk is good. Yeah, no, 100% V-Fig. I wish the radio stayed on. It's like my lights stay on, my windshield wipers stay on. Why not the, uh, why not the radio? Okay, I gotta keep an eye out for any, any random boxes sitting outside the room. How you doing back there, Emily? Yeah, me too. There is a box. Let's see what's in the box. What's in the box today? <gasps> More medicine? Yes, please. Not a high sale value, but a sale value nonetheless. I should probably just pick up the boxes and bring them close to my car before I start grabbing stuff, huh? Shame there's no run button. Okay, I think we can I think we can fit most of this. We can't fit any of this. Okay, let's have a look. Uh ooh. 
Do we want to risk it? Yeah, it might be worth more across the next border. You know what? I don't think we really need a water bottle right now. I think, yeah, we can get rid of that. Who needs water? We can fit like a whole four medicine where that was sitting. At least two. Um, you know what? I feel like we don't need this much oil. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna throw in throw in some of that. There we go. Hopefully next time we can grab a roof rack as well. Makes real dough. Okay, well that's that's us full. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna top up the oil and whatnot from there before I go. Hundred percent. No point just leaving them empty. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, our wood is already full. Uh, something is something needs repaired. Don't know what though. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Well, tell you what. We'll just fill up our fuel a little bit and then oil. There we go. That's good. Ooh, actually, I don't think I repaired every part. I just repaired, like, some of them. I repaired all the ones that had, like, repair things on them. I can't tell what is what is low on durability, though. Is it the fuel tank? No, it's not the fuel tank. Is it the stock air filter? It has to be the stock air filter. Hmm. Yeah, I think... Mm. Sorry, I was giving giving a uh, bit of advice to one of our dear viewers. Mm -hmm. They were they were asking me about how to to Some price out oil. freelance work. Uh which I I gave the advice of uh you know you have your have your clients uh give you a figure of their budget. Your clients are gonna be able to pay you what they can pay you. And that think of these things as a negotiation. You're not a store. I'm also pricing these things out as about being steps on a staircase. You know, I'm, yep. I'm way more willing to take a project that I personally enjoy and gives me a lot of growth in my skills or teaches me something new. It's going to be valuable to me in the long run. Yeah. It's a project that I'm just like not super invested in, but didn't do currently after to pay well. And up my rate. Why not? This sounds great. Have a listen. It's a good song. <laughs> the car seems to be going pretty slow today. The car is just warming up. It's been warming up for a while. I like to think of it as a living creature. You also do have a lot of crap. I do have a lot of junk in the trunk. <laughs> what? It's true! Also, you are a very dear and lovely, wonderful audience. Feel free to clip stuff. It helps us out. Eventually it gets to YouTube and TikTok, so... That is true. Something you particularly find fun to happen. <laughs> Clip it and ship it, as they say. You know, it really doesn't have much horsepower, I'm noticing. <laughs> Dog power. <laughs> it's like being pulled by three Siberian huskies. There we go, this is more like it. Got a nice downhill going.
No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, great, I have to do that first. There we go. Onwards we go. <laughs> the actual car it's based on is basically made out of dry land. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's based on... Oh god, what was the name of the uh, East German vehicles that you had to go on a waiting list for again? Yeah, the Trevant. That's Trevant. right. Trevant, sorry. The Trevant, that's right. Ooh. What's this place? <laughs> yeah, no, like, cars of that era in general weren't fantastic, honestly. Um. So, I, I actually, as someone who studied East Germany quite extensively, uh, I have some funny East German car jokes. Ooh, I'd uh, love to hear I, your East German car jokes. There's only one of them, really, that's worth telling, but, um, so, uh, What's the question mark? a man oh. is on the phone with the pre-order for the Trevant, because you had to order them quite a ways out, and, uh, He's asking, uh, he's asking the guy, like, okay, I've, I've ordered my, my Trevant, uh, what, what, uh, what, what, what year am I gonna get it in? And they're like, oh, well, it's gonna be a long wait. It's gonna be, like, 20 years. I need to he's stop like, okay, this okay. engine. He's like, that's fair. Uh, what, what month and day should it be? It's and they're like, oh, it'll be this month and day. Up. And then he goes... Okay, well, what time will I be getting the car in on that day? And I go, what time? Well, what does it matter? It's 20 years from now. And he goes, well, I need to know what time to schedule the plumber. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's a thing? The joke being that everything took a really <laughs> long time in East Germany. Oh, replace the broken part on the gate with yours, then pull the lever, then put it back. Interesting, okay. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, carburetor. I think it's just that it's out of fuel. Everything seems to be high durability. So I guess, yeah, we'll just take the engine out. We'll take my engine out. Throw that in. It won't let me put that in though. Oh, I know, it's a fuel tank, right. I'm not smart. Okay. And then start it up. Thanks for all the help, Elvis and Fig. Yeah. Y'all have been extremely helpful. I, I do love these little small games with the cult following because they're yeah, no. like really, really helpful to people that are like, hey, this is how this works. Their carburetor is better than my carburetor, so that's a free carburetor right there. We're gonna we're gonna throw this. Uh, let's have a look. How's our battery looking? I think our battery is at full durability, but not a hundred percent charge. So we're gonna replace it. Uh, this one has ninety percent charge. There we go. And then an air filter and the stock engine. We'll grab that stock engine, because that stock engine's a little bit better than ours. Ours is a little bit faulty. There we go. And we're gonna get back in the car. We got some we got some better parts from that, that's good. And we're gonna turn on the lights. Everyone's saying go in. I am mildly concerned. <laughs> I'm feeling I might get horribly murdered. Okay, I'm, I'm in. Turn off the lights. I am mildly scared. 
I might die horribly. Let's find out. I can't get inside the building. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Ah uh, yes, the Shrove Plots. Yeah, the Shrove Plots. I think I'm gonna get murdered. Where is Shrove Plot? But it doesn't seem to be- Oh! Barrel Ignition Coil. Yeah, it's better than my current Ignition Coil. I want a game like this for the best But it's years. bad durability. Yeah, a game like this but about spaceships would be pretty good. Yeah, I think it's a junkyard. Oh, wait. Can I open the bins? Mm, usually more junk on the shelves and treasure sometimes. Interesting. It's not in the trash. I'm curious, though. I want to have a look at something. What kind of ignition coil do I currently have? Stock ignition. That one is better than mine. Hmm. One second to ignition time, two kilograms to wait. Hmm. Yeah. That's pretty good. Well, you know what? I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in my car. Not in the front. Well, we'll put it in the back until we can get a repair kit later on. Um, take the medicine. Take the medicine. Okay. Uh, we have to give away two lots of medicine for this. Uh, it's probably worth it. Yeah. I mean, like, getting any car upgrade parts, although can I slot it in there next to that one? Oof, those tires aren't looking great. Uh, I wonder. No, I can't put it in there with those. Okay, well, we're just going to take it with us. We'll leave the medicine behind. And then onwards we shall go. You know, we got some parts with some like better durability out of this at least. That's something. Only cost us like three liters of fuel. I'm not liking the health of my tires though. Oh yeah, no, have a good one, V-Fig. It was great to see ya. Good to see you, Hope you have a good rest of your night. Mine. Right, we need music. There we go. Shame there was anything better at the junkyard. That's okay. Fair while to go until we get there though. Hopefully we'll find a uh, truck stop soonish. I think next town we'll replace our tires. truck stop. We might come across a decent one first. Hopefully. 
just a little bit worried because I only have one repair kit, which only works on one of them once, and they are one spare. So if they start popping, that's going to be a problem. Okay, if I get impossibly stuck, use Return Home instead of New Game. Keeps my stuff when I restart. And there's still free stock parts in the cabinet. Start very run. Interesting! Thanks for that. Well, that's, that's really useful. Oh, this game's really fun, though. I wasn't expecting to have as much fun with this as I am. It's like a it's like a driving roguelike. <laughs> you do, that's why I always like your advice when it comes to my stream. Probably not doing my tires any good. Yeah, no, I can't imagine. Come on, little like it, you can do it. The start of the stream was amazing. <laughs> uh, come on, little like a. Country girls do make do. Oh, this one's great. I could sit on this for hours. And frequently do. You did make a good choice. This was a good good investment. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully, Elvis. <laughs> oh, this poor car. You can hear it just slowly dying. Still sad I only got two packages of meat. Story of my life, honestly. to see the city in the distance. Oh, downhill, yes! Ooh, car. Hello, car. I need to grab your parts. Wait, 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 wait. I need to make a good decision here, and that's turn off my lights. Wait, no, they're already off. Okay, I'm not smart. I've got to turn my lights back on. Uh, okay, let's see what this car has. <gasps> Road tires with good durability? Oh, hell yes. Camel water tank? Uh, pretty, pretty trash battery. Let's see. Green ignition coil. That's really good. That's really good. I think that's better than my current one. Battery's kind of eh. So we're going to butcher it for wheels. And we're going to take the ignition coil. Let's see. One second to ignition time. Okay, that's uh not much of an improvement, actually. I guess. Eh. Actually, it's it's a bit better. That's a it's a fair bit better. Yeah, it's got a little less durability, but that's okay. We still got a repair kit. Uh, let's see. Is there anything in the trunk? 
spare road tire, but terrible road tire. Don't like that. Okay, nothing inside the car, no? Okay, well. Okay, and it's mostly being butchered for parts. Uh, the camel water tank, however, is pretty good. Oh my god, I closed the hood. I'm not smart. Okay. Let's have a look. Yep, yep, that's way better than our one. So just gonna throw the camel in. We're gonna get rid of our stock one. God, that holds a lot of water. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, yes. Oh, that, that makes me feel good. Okay, and that's worthless as hell. Okay, good. Uh, well, first off, we need to do something very important. Just turn the radio back on. Now, where's our car jack? There we go. Just take these wheels off. So it looks like it has a full set of durability three tires, which is really good. Oh yes. Oh yes. One that. Oh. We did something terrible there. Oh, thanks for the gifted sub, Thana. Uh, somehow I managed to put three tires on my car and I don't know how. <laughs> it's a little weird. Uh, a little glitchy there. That's okay. Okay, we're gonna just tune that up. Good. Fantastic. Oh, that's beautiful. Can I take my jack back? It wouldn't let me pick up my jack. Why can't I pick you up? Did I glitch it out? Okay, maybe that will have fixed it. Oh my god, is my jack glitched? Oh my lord. Oh, it's because it thinks it's still at a uh, incline. Oh, I can't do anything with it now. No. Okay, okay, we can fix this. Okay, maybe we can't fix this. Oh. Oh, I think I... Oh, that's not good. I could save an exit and continue from the lost motel. Oh, that sucks, though. That's sad. My jack is stuck. Because my car thinks it's still in use, even though it's not, because my car's on an incline. Oh, no. I think I'm going to have to save an exit and restart from the motel. You can do it. That's sad. That's okay, though. Okay. We good? Continue. One moment. Okay, we continue, from, whoop. we continue from the motel, which I think means we need to buy some sausages again. Oh, that's sad though, there's so much backtracking. 
but that's okay. Maybe we'll get something better at the question marks this time. Maybe. Whew. Okay. And this time, maybe we can prepare a little bit better. Oh my god, uncle, what are you doing? No, we're not taking you with us. No, go away. Yeah, you can just stay there. Okay, onwards we go. When did my windshield break? That's a new one. I don't think I can clean that. No, it's, it's definitely broken. It's hooligans. The local ruffians roughed up my car. Poor car. It did nothing to anybody. It didn't even have the chance to hurt anybody. Okay, well. Oh, yes, yeah, sausages. We're going to buy a lot of sausages. Yeah. Okay, that, that should be enough sausages. Now, here's the question. Should we just replace our tires with... I think we might as well, honestly, like, just fix the durability in our car as well. Awesome. Um, Hi, Thana. Yes! Hello, Thana! Welcome to the stream. Hope you are having a good one. A real good one. Okay, we have plenty of medicine. I think I have more medicine than we had. So we might as well sell all of this. Because we're still fetching a decent price oh, for it. Oh, it's going good. I'm substantially less surly now. <laughs> we definitely had some uh, choice moments to go through and look at the clip. We had a hell of a start, yeah. Oh, I get to keep my barrel ignition coil. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, right, because I get to keep all the stuff that I had in my trunk. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's good. All that junk that was in the trunk. Yeah, tons of junk in my trunk. Wait, does that mean it would have replaced two of my tires with, like, road tires and two of my tires with off-road tires then? Oh my god, it did. <laughs> okay. Well then. Uh, well, first things first. We're gonna go here. We're gonna pop the hood. And we're just gonna, like... Let's see. Actually. Is this ignition coil better or worse than what we have? Hmm. Let's uh let's grab them both. Whoop. Point zero nine liter to fuel induction cost. Zero point zero seven five. Well the barrel's definitely better and we can repair that. So that's good. I'm glad that we got to keep our parts. That makes me really happy, actually. There we go. We can buy another one. Da, 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 da. The Anno road trip is going good. I am pretty happy with how things are transpiring. Okay, we're going to grab our wallet. Then we're going to grab that stuff. Good. Ooh, that's some money. Okay, we'll grab a tray for the rest of those. I should probably check the motel to make sure that the news still says that that's uh, good for me, though. So I'm not sure if meat is still good. Yeah, it might have changed. It might have gone bad. Yeah, it might just not be as valuable as it was. Cozy, 
Oh yeah. Okay, so I think we're gonna leave this behind actually, but we'll sell it. Okay. Let's go sell this. Uh huh. I see. I see. Okay. Well. Apparently, I can't sell this. Fair enough. Okay. Well. Uh, wait. What? G give me my meat. Oh, you bitch. No. Bugged out. Oh, I need another engine repair kit. Is she just not gonna- Oh my god, she's completely bugged out. Oh, there we go. Ah, I see, because it thought that I tried to give her the tray. That's why. <laughs> and the tray has zero value, so it wouldn't let me sell. I mean, I think it's valuable. I think that's quite useful. Baskets are quite useful, yes. That's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell this. What really makes me want a game though that's basically just this with like a spaceship. Yeah. Like it would be fun to have to like put a spaceship on the outside of your hull to, to fix stuff. Come back inside, wire the components there. Yeah. Then we're gonna purchase that. some good money. There we go. We can go and install our two tires and then head for the border before it gets too late. <laughs> See now we're thinking. I think we'll just chance it on the meat. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Worst comes to worst, we just don't make much money from this road trip. We could just eat it. Uh, I will, however, sell this spare off-road tire and buy another road tire. Uh, where's my wallet? You have to do some two separate transactions, but it's okay. Perfect. And then we'll grab our wallet yet again. Sell value one. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Grab our spare. Uh, any of these super much off? No, okay. Close my trunk. Oh, it left my jack outside of the car. Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, I hope she has a spy. Yes. Okay, good. I did get lucky. Hey, that wasn't my fault. That was a glitch. I'm not blaming you. Sounds like you're blaming me. I'm not. I'm relieved for you. I'm relieved for me too. Okay, we still made off with 316. That's not bad. I could buy a roof rack, but I'm not sure it's really worth it because we want to have some spare money, just in case. Let's that. There we go. are absolutely worthless so we're not even gonna bother with that just gonna install these and then probably head straight on uh, yep we need to tighten them up I'm looking for my crowbar away. That's weird. Usually it just goes on top of that. Uh, 
that's not good. I'm sure it just went on there before. Oh, I see why. It put the sausages where it was. There we go. Uh, well, we need a repair kit. Everything's full durability, which is good. We do need another spare. So we're going to have to go buy that. And then maybe we'll have room for sausages? We'll see. We'll see. Same. Okay. God, so much micromanagement that goes into road tripping. Okay. We're not going to have enough money for that, so that all works out pretty good, actually. Okay. Engine repair kit, we'll throw this in, then we'll grab the sausages, then we'll head out, hit the border. I think we still got plenty of time. If not, we might just have to eat money on the uh, motel. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You know, it's important to restock before you go on our trip. I can't tell if it's just early morning or if it's night. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. Proud owner achievement. Nice. We should probably refuel, actually. Always right one, here. one more thing to do. Pretty much, though. Um, God, how's our, how's our spare looking? Our spare's full. That's good. Weird. I guess it's too far away. Pop the boot. Oh, pop the uh, hood, I should say. There we go. Open her up. And now we should be able to refuel her. If I can. Yeah, it closes when you owe money. Yeah. I'm running a little bit low on oil as well, so I might buy some of that. Yeah, we're empty on oil. So we'll grab another thing of oil. Uh, if we have any. Oh, last one. Thank God. Okay. There we go, and we will go grab our wallet, and then we'll hit up the outpost, and onwards we shall head. See, it's all coming together. Don't think we have a water bottle is my only concern, but uh, we'll, we'll grab one and fill our camel, because our camel's like really... Real big boy. Should have done that before I did that though. Oh, so much backwards. Of Why can't I just carry my wallet and things? Why does it slot it in weird? So strange. Yeah, no, you know, it, good road trip is all about preparation, Emily. It's 
all about thinking ahead, making sure that we don't make any terrible mistakes. Oh, like at the start of this. Like at the start of this. Wait. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Uh, I did make a lot of mistakes at the start of the stream, though, you are correct. But, you know, no more. Now we are good. We are thinking ahead. We are planning, making sure that everything is good and gold. There we go. Oh, that's good. Oh, you love to see it. <laughs> okay, I think we're good to go. Nice. Finally. Oh, nice and fueled. We've got some good road tires. Lots of money. Lots of sausages. Ram into the fence. Oh, this is great. Ah, the sun's still up, so we should be able to get through pretty easily. Papers, please. Okay. No, that's a wallet. Alright. I need to find my window down. That would help. There we go. Okay, let's see here. I think everything seems in order. Fantastic. I need to clear my route. Let's have a look. Is there going to be another question? Ooh, there is a question mark, but it doesn't have a station. Do you want to take a risk? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? We all know. And now it's raining. Oh, oh, that's chumpy. Chumpy jalopy. Onwards we go. Let's uh, just wind and go back up. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Ah, and now for the 15 kilometer per hour bridge climb, as is traditional. I don't have off-road tires. Yeah, I think we stay on road. But like, there's there's like all the stuff that they're doing on the side, like you know, like Jet has to repair their ships, or like you know they have to pay for doctor's fees and tickets to stop yeah. by a station. You get some. It's very like the vast majority of that show is spent on being social, like just you know, like, getting gas. Like, 
my fondest memories in when I was younger was the Forge of Flame. I'm Dedicated sure. servers or, or little entries like that. It was just like goofing off, like just exploring levels together, chilling and chatting, maybe doing something passively. Um, you know, where, where the gameplay is like almost optional. Like, yeah. That's actually like Minecraft, right? Like yeah. Minecraft is really good. You always ask me if I need to do it. I'm kind of just there like hanging out with people as well. And so, I feel like if you did a spaceship version of Jalopy, you'd want it to be focused around that. You'd want it to be multiplayer to hang out with but like, I just want to like work on a spaceship and not even necessarily like have my friends around to like work on it with me. Yeah, I might have a spot. Fine. I think it might have just been the uh, the cobbles, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just the boarding. I think we're all good, yeah. So what you want is you want like a space simulator kind of thing where you're going through space but you also have to do things like get out of your spaceship on a zero grab run like replace the the plating on the sides or like yeah, you're, you fix like the engines like, up. Yeah, you have to like weld some stuff to the side. Like I think it's fun of just being I think like, it's pretty cool. You're chilling with your friends lounge and you're like, okay, I want to go do this repair up there. So I'm going to like, you guys stay here and hang out. I'm going to go to the space is you want something like Wing Commander Privateer, but with more of a focus on maintaining your ship. Uh, I, I think about... Oh, hello, Vinny! Hey. Oh my god, oh, Vinny! Hi. Welcome to the stream! Oh, and yes, Elvis, exactly. Like a more open Outer Worlds. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds, um, yeah. It, it's like... I love what Jalopy has going here of like managing your inventory in the trunk, right? So why can't I have that in a spaceship? Why can't I worry about, like, how much food I have on hand, or, like, storage mm -hmm. fuel, or extra parts and things like that? Just let me focus on running a spaceship. And I was thinking, like, how would you design this field really based on, it's like, it's like having a game where you're focused on a boat, like a boat simulator almost. Yeah. That's really what it is. Yeah. You have to fix things both inside and outside of the boat. You have to maintain it. But the reason that you have a boat is not just so that you can dwell in it, but also so you can it. Yeah, you want it to feel more like what it's pulling on, which is like basically a ship simulation. Yeah, well, I mean, what is what is a car, right? Well, I'd say that this game treats the car as a living space. Yeah. Rather than a vehicle. I could see that. And I think that... We haven't really had a spaceship game that treats the ship like a house. And maybe I just have nostalgia for this from watching, like, you know, again, Bebop, but I also watched a lot of Firefly, 
And then also, like, on top of it, I played a lot of, like, Space King Mud when I was young. Yeah. So, my favorite thing to do in the game is, like, you could buy a house, but most people, most people want a ship. Yeah. But it wasn't just you, you could get other people to live in your ship, too. Yeah. Yeah. You have a little bit of like a crew going. Yeah. yeah. And the great part about that was like, it wasn't like, sure, it was a crew, but it was more like having a right? And yeah. People do stuff on the ship together and they, they work towards the common good of the ship, but most of the time people just fly off and do their own thing. But I mean, like, even like a single player version of this would be good because it would lean a lot into like the sense of uh, isolation. Unlike yeah. loneliness of like a space, I think, space. I, I, I like the idea of having a like I think for something like that available for everyone, it would just mean like other people can participate and you don't have to be there. I mean that's something Altar is good at. Like you want to do it, you should be Altar. But it would be like the idea of like a mix it up like it's a job. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. But like yeah. Vinny's saying, uh, Vinny said, I guess space engineer can kind of tap into the ship of space thing, but there's more traveling. Yeah, and, and this yeah. is the thing. And so you kind of want like... Part is important. Yeah. Because it's not about the destination, it's about the journey, it's about the experience of like maintaining a nice ship, getting it looking the way that you want, let me dig for it, let me like... I don't know. I'm, I'm seriously contemplating the little prototype for it. Cause, like, the thing that I like about it is that, like, it does involve level design, but the ship is a level design. And that's something I do really miss from MUDs. It's like my favorite part about MUDs is going through the ship graveyard and going into each individual unique ship and finding out all its little quirks. Because a lot of those were, like, custom built by admins. You know, people would win contests or pay to have a custom ship built at the shipyards. And they would install little things like secret compartments and other things like that. I think that would be fun. Yeah. I mean, ideally, if, if I had the capacity, what I would really like to do is, like, it would be great to have, like, other people's ships around, like, optionally. Like, you know, I, I wouldn't mind bumping into other ships, not even to fight or anything, but just to, like, passively interact with. I mean, okay, I will say that there is one game that sort of gets this, but in a different way, which is, like, Elite. Elite mm. handles the logistics of it, but Elite is still about, like, combat and things like that, but it does have put a lot of emphasis on, like, the logistics and, like, the journey of space travel. But this is different, because I really like games where you can walk around the ship. I really like just, like, it, it's like a camper van almost. Uh, I so, can yeah. see that. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's something I could work on. Because I think net code stuff is a little beyond me, but I can it definitely get some like basic framework for it just like the things that I think at least I could apply to that sense. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. And you can even just whip up like a single player prototype kind of thing. Well, yeah, that's like what I'm a lot of the physics and stuff, especially for like zoology areas and stuff, aren't hard to put together. Well, like like I'm not gonna say multiplayer these days but it's not always having to do it from scratch. Yeah. I learned that from some of the projects I worked on for clients and things. Cause like, I, I got a good feel for, like, what is and isn't feasible in that department. And yeah. it's not difficult because nowadays in engines, if you're picking the right frameworks and right speeds, like, most of the network stuff is, like, already present there. You just have to tell it when you type through client the server etc yeah it's it's not like uh and even if you don't have access to the servers you could do like get it together. yeah i mean like the it's way, like a prototype the way that a lot of people did development back in the day was like let's say you were making like a half life mod or whatever you wouldn't work with the single player code base you worked on the multiplayer code base but to make things more difficult you know um and run solo because it was like well you might not need the whole uh, code base, but at least it's there. Uh, this must be the mystery. Yeah. Is this good? This could be good. Oh, 
can't see. No Man's Sky if the frigates were more than just floating yeah. warehouses. Yes, yes, oh, exactly. I know a game that kind of taps into this, which would be Subnautica. Mm, yeah, I could see that. But, like, that's Spurs different from, like, chart. those What's, games are all built around, missing? like, you're stranded or you're on the frontier or whatever. What mm, makes Cowboy Bebop particularly compelling to me is the fact that it is more like being a trucker combined with running a boat. You have, like, hyperspace routes that are highly trafficked. You have, like, these stations that you have to go through. If you go to Jupiter, if you go to Venus or whatever, you're you're basically getting in traffic on the highway, right? You're, you're doing the safe stuff. But once you arrive at your destination, you have a lot of freedom for checking out planets and things like that and different stations. So it's about creating, like, these transitory spaces that are fairly rigid and these logistical systems that are fairly rigid. But how you interact with those systems is, a, is a, like a sphere of freedom. And then how you navigate the destinations once you're there, also a sphere of freedom. But I do miss playing MUDs where I could like go to different landing pads and like pick up supplies and do stuff. Like the Mandalorian has a good vibe as well. Mm -hmm, uh, I can for, see that. For what I'm talking about, where you just like. There's like at least three, two episodes dedicated to him just tinkering with the ship. And it's cozy. I just want more games that are like cozy. Like, like cozy doesn't have to mean wholesome, right? Yeah. Wholesome can just be like, you're focused on something other than just like, fighting things. I don't know. It's, it's something that like, there are definitely games that explore this idea. But not quite to the same. Yeah, no, same I can see it. it. And again, having a single component is really important for me. It's just like I would love something that I could just play with my friends and just chill. Like I really do. Just like it seems to me like the metaverse is just a funny word for video games where I can do stuff that isn't just video games with my friends. Because I spend a lot of time in Discord, I do really like Discord, but I would really like the ability to do other stuff passively. Like, I think what hurts me about Discord is, like, I'm only limited interaction over voice and webcam, and it would be nice to have an environment where I can just, like, chill there. Oh, oh nice. Oh. That looks fancy. That is fancy. Anyway, just, just amusing, amusing myself with, with notions and ideas. I'm just chilling. I need to just start messing with game engines and scripting stuff. Cause it's like okay, so that's minus one point five seconds and fifteen kilometers per hour to top speed. And they're about the same. This has more durability. Oh, that's good. Weighs the same though. My other engine, the other engines are lighter. But I think we go with this one, and we can just use our repair kit to repair it. Oh, <laughs> that would kicked me back. That's kind of wild. Okay, and we have the Quinn Kong engine. Okay, so I'm gonna repair it all the way because it has like full durability. So we're gonna do. Two quick repairs. And what else needs fixed in here? I guess the engine, but also the air filter. I think we'll just leave both where they are. Should be fine. Hmm. This is quite durable. That is gonna keep steaming though is my only concern. Which make it hard to tell when it needs repaired. Uh I think we just deal with the smoke, and if it gets worse, we'll uh we'll get concerned. Okay, let's see. Now that one has cell value 10. Eh. Eh, not worth it the space that it takes up. Okay, let's see, is there anything else kicking around? Let's have a look. I can't believe we got a good engine. Jeez, that's so lucky. Very 
pretty durable one at that. Okay, let's check the trash. Nothing in the trash. And all these cars are just junkers. Yeah, I think we make out with the engine. That's a good trade though. Um, yeah, no, I think, I think we made out with a good engine and I'm pretty happy for it. I think you're right, Elvis. I think the, uh, I think the trash is always, always bad, unfortunately. refuel at some point, but that's okay. We can worry about that later. Onwards! Oh, I'm so happy about that engine. Jeez, that's a hell of an upgrade. smoking a fair bit though, which isn't great, but I'm pretty sure it is just air intake, which is fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. I hope I'm going in the right direction here. I think I am. Yeah, I don't remember this. God, this engine's so fast. Jeez. Look at this yeah, Emily. We're zipping. Ripping. Yeah. That's yeah, no. We actually have a good engine. I think we made it to town. And sell some of our stuff. But, but Elvis makes kind of a good point, which is like, unfortunately, when you have walking around your ship and doing stuff, it's usually just straight as like, then it's door out. Really it's one thing to really sad I missed out on the Star Trek Galaxy. One of the last expansions that actually did in the space was. And a little bit of just had like luxury yachts, you know? And it's just yeah. like their friends there and they're doing them well. It was basically like how in Final Fantasy and it was really yeah, like how they were working up right now. Oh yes, yeah, the right housing right. market in Final Fantasy, I remember that's just, that's the stuff of legends. Sure, like, you know, in their spaceships to hang out and they'd like have bars and just like entertain people. Yeah. There's still logistical components. I mean, that was the same thing in Mudsville, so I did experience that in, like, a tactical sense. Um, and again, what's what's always interesting to me about whenever I play Pulsar is that, like, the ships have a lot of stuff that technically don't need to be there. There are crew quarters, but, like, there's showers. There's, like, bathrooms with sinks. There's, like, mess halls and stuff. Things that you don't inter actually interact with. It's very clear to me who worked the game, probably played did some role playing deck. Cause like, that's what I did a lot when I was really young, was I role played a lot in like first person shooters and stuff like that. So I'm really into like, uh, if you ever play a role playing map for Gary's mod, you'll notice that just the, the level design logic is completely different. Mm -hmm. Cause it's not focused on having choke points or like, you know, interesting combat arenas. It's entirely focused on like, giving you spaces that not only feel lived in, but that you can make feel right? Which is why a lot of those maps will have, like, blank and empty apartments, because the very much one problem with that, so the idea is, like, part of the game there at that point is for you to decorate your own space. Um, and, and to make it feel attractive. I really like that. I feel like that's something I really struggle with with virtual worlds. Virtual worlds don't have that. Yeah. Virtual worlds always feel... It feels like going in a museum, or at best, it feels like going into an Ikea, like, show floor. You know, where it's like, you can set up these cool seats and motifs, but it never really feels like it belongs to you in quite the same way. Neos is a little bit better about that, but again, the spaces are like, those yeah, they're alright, but... Ah! I think that not, um... having the ability to have passive activities in those spaces is a little, a little frustrating. 
Uh, because I think having, like, a, a tangible fiction of something helps keep me grounded. Like, if I hang out with my friends at a cafe in real life, that's nice, that's pleasant, but it doesn't feel like it's our space. Whereas, yeah. like, I remember there was this one little hacker space, DIY space in Portland, I think, where basically it was literally just, like, you know those buildings that have, like, a giant, like, garage door in the back, but it's elevated because it's per load and from, from flatbed trucks? It had just one of those at the entrance. So you just slide that open, you pop in, and there was, like, a big table there with a bunch of, like, laptops on it and stuff like that. There was a bunk space where you could climb a little ladder and go up there and hang out. There was a little, like, CNC shop where they had a 3D printer and some other stuff there. And people just hang out. You just pull up a chair and chill. And so... It was a very comfortable social space that felt almost like a study room. Ah. But in the idea that, like, you would also have stuff that you could passively do to look at. You know, it wasn't just a warehouse, but it wasn't just, like, someone's bedroom. It was, like, a, a common space that had multi-purpose uses. And I feel like that's something you got to really nail in a, in a situation like this. I think Minecraft is good at that. I think every time I'm in Minecraft and I'm in, like, a house or whatever, or even Rust, they always feel very lived in, very, like, intentionally designed by the player. And I think that's just a secondary effect of, like, having space you specifically design yourself. Um, whereas in a, in a game with a static environment, it's a little harder. Yeah, I could see that. But it's definitely doable. Okay, how are our tires looking, actually? I played Galaxy for a couple weeks before I realized I couldn't afford it. Didn't have good polite speed, but it was that at the time. Yeah, I'm really... I... My family could not afford MMOs, so I never really got to play them much. But I did have a lot of friends who were playing, like, the original planet side and things like that. So, which is way cool. Um, it's kind of sad, though. Modern MMOs kind of make me sad because they, when they go free-to-play, they get a major downgrade. I remember Planet Side 2 when it came out when it was beta. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. That was incredible. So they had like motion blur and all this wild stuff. It felt very like big and majestic and like super epic. And I know later on, as the game got updated further, they took out motion blur. They took out graphical features. They took out gameplay components. It reminds me of the shift in fidelity when King Fortress 2 went free to play. They took out like bullet shell casings. They cut a lot of animations. Like the demo man's like gun just stopped reloading the right way. Mm. Uh, they cut down on the shaders and the particle effects and all this stuff. And I'm like, but computers haven't gotten slower. They've gotten faster. Uh, why aren't these features still at least optionally there? Yeah. So that's my problem with MMOs and playing them is like it always feels like it always feels like there's something lost with the updates over time. Uh, Final Fantasy is kind of the opposite problem now, where everybody loves the having grapes. to literally ask people to stop playing. <laughs> Every, everybody loves the grapes, and they made them high definition. You yeah. wanted the low poly grapes. There's yeah, bring back the low them. poly grapes. Honestly. Bring back the low poly I need to play Final Fantasy XIV. Let's do it. It's on my to-do list. I just need to finish up the uh, the video for the plot before I can do it. But I am very much down. Do you think one of these needs replaced? I think the fun one, yeah. Durability 2. At least it also still got it. Last thing we want is getting a flat. There we go. But no, God, we're making good time here. Uh, I reckon we can do a couple more, couple more trips. There we go. I think I'll do one more, one more leg. I'm feeling it. There we go. Really cheap to replace those tires whilst they still have decent durability as well. It's like fifteen dollars to replace all three. Which is very silly. Shame there aren't more repair kits is my only complaint, because I would like a full repair kit, but we might check in the morning. See if she has any men. There we go. Okay.
And we'll check the newspaper, see if that has any shortages listed. And then come back. And crank this back up and we are good to go once we fill our fuel. Some more also here as well. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Okay, good. Now let's see, we'll bring that down, grab this, throw this back in the trunk, grab our oil mix. Yeah, what do you think of the Yeah, this gas can still full. We'll just grab a new oil can just in case. Uh, actually, no, I don't think she has any. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I know she has one. Good. I could streamline that by bringing my thing in. That's okay. Okay. Right? And we can go get a roof rack now. Yeah, no, I think I'll, I'll play this some more later this week. Maybe I'll play some more tomorrow, honestly. Yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. Especially if, like, you've got some time free. Um, tell you what, we might as well just take this oil for now. We don't have anything to fill it. And we're going to get a roof rack. I won't bother cleaning the car really for now, I don't think. Plus, I don't know where the. Oh, the bucket's there, it's upside down. And eh, we'll, we'll clean that a little bit. Just the front. There we go. Now we will go and buy our roof rack so we can transport more contraband. Then we'll check the motel, see what the newspaper says about the next leg of our trip, and then we shall head out on it, I believe. Oh, I'm loving this new engine though. Oh, it feels so much smoother. This is the motel. This is not where we want to be just yet. The engine does sound a little sick. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's take a look at the telecatalog. Okay, upgrades. Uh, oh, it doesn't have them. Damn. Mm. No roof rack tonight. That's that is sad. Hmm. Let's see. I'm wondering if it's worth grabbing another battery. Could grab some decals. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, why not? We'll grab some decals and we'll grab uh mm, we'll grab the bull bar. Actually, we'll grab the door replacement and the bull bar. There we go. Just in case we crash. Okay. I'm going to miss that door, but now we have a good door. Do I have to open it four times? Oh, there it is. There's the stuff. We have fitted the bull bar. Nice. Ooh, that's fancy. Checkerboard roof. Ah, great. So cute. Love it. Up this cool oh, that's head. great. Yeah, and we also replace the door, so now it opens and doesn't stick. See? I love it. So oh, doors in the shop still? Okay. I do like how much this rains too. It's a lot of fun. Oh, there it is. I think that's my old door, though. I think they automatically replace it, because I can't interact with this. Yeah, this is the one with the crumple bit in it. Yeah, so they already replaced it. It's just also off-color. This is <laughs> kind of how my Rust stream goes, too, where I just, like, I get a card, I just work on them. Yeah, no, this is fun. I like, I like how, like, the car feels like a very lived-in space. It feels very nice and chill. Like you start to just kind of fall in love with your car. Okay, we're gonna find the motel. We're gonna see what goods and or services are going to be lacking in the next town, if any. Purchase them up before we go to sleep so that we don't run out again. Then we're gonna get a good night's sleep, hit the shop, grab another repair kit if they have one. Then we'll do another leg of our trip and then I reckon we'll pull that for night. Ah, uh, yes. Alcohol banned in Yugoslavia. Hmm. Does that mean they won't let it through the border, though? Hmm. I think our best bet is to go check the border signs. Because there was a lot of wine in that shop. If they catch it, they find me. Okay. Probably not worth it, then. I guess we'll just grab a night's sleep. We won't have any goods to take to the next town. We might find some more medicine on the road. That would be good. All right, I need to grab my wallet to pay for the room. Yeah, sleep well, Vinny. Have a good one. It's really good to see you again. Hope you're having, uh, hope you're having a good time. We made out with still a fair bit of money. We got all those upgrades. At least now when we crash, it won't be so much of a problem. Not that I crash very often. But I do really desperately want a repair kit, so I'm hoping they restock them in the morning. Hopefully. Oh, 1A. That's on the bottom floor. go. There's our door behind us. No one's left anything in the cabinets? Nope. Flush the pre-peed-in toilet. Yeah, it's just one of those little parts of room service they don't really talk about very much, as you know. Sometimes they go in, they pee in the they pee in the toilet for you. It's great. Day three, the tenny. Okay, let's see if we can't go get another repair kit. 
and then we shall head onwards. Still alcohol ban Yugoslavia. Well, if we find some on the road, that'll be really good. But I don't want to risk getting fined. I have some money, but I don't have a heap. Okay. If you do run out of money, you can knock on the other doors and they'll pay you to leave them alone. <laughs> That's great. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic, though. I love it. Okay. Let's see if she's stocked back up. No, no repair kits. Oh, that's going to be a rough one. Hmm. We could grab, I reckon we'll grab like a spare tire repair kit, just in case though. And then we will chance our next leg of the journey. plenty of space and if we run out of space in the road it only cost us five dollars so it's fine there we go sad i could not get that roof rack though <laughs> I love the radio so much. Oh, what a beautiful clock. Excuse me. isn't illegal. Well, I guess we can grab some then. We might as well. We grab a couple of bottles. As long as we offload it, the next, uh, next gas station we find, we should be fine. <laughs> no fine wine. Just normal wine. Okay. Well, let's grab the last bottle, because there's only one. Oh, 64 though. Ooh, that's expensive. Ah, uh, I think we don't bother. We won't chance it. It might not be worth. We'll just grab whatever we can find on the road. You know, we still have like $300. It's pretty solid. But yeah, $64 for a single bottle. Doesn't seem worth. Especially if we can't find a place to sell it before we get to the next area. so fun. Oof, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Every 
Question marks, but no petrol station. I reckon. It does look like it's off road, is my only concern. It'll be fine. Yeah, we've committed now. Yeah, no, who needs tires? Guess you could say it'll tire them out. response that huh? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> we lost our heart I crashed <laughs> oh lord <laughs> this is why I installed that mole box This engine just fucking zips. Look at this, we're almost hitting 80 kilometers per hour. It's wild. Feels like it's improved my handling as well. Definitely handling the uphills a lot nicer now too. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I love this engine. Oh, there's a box. Let's see what that is. I think there's another one over there, but I'm not sure if I can be bothered walking all the way over there. Ah, uh, we might as well. We've committed. Here, box. Take them back to the car, open them up, and see what we got. Yeah. Who needs to invest in the market when you can just find things lying at the side of the road? Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice, nice desert coastal. Oh, yeah. No, it's beautiful. What do we got? Wine! Oh, yes. And more wine. Oh. Oh, baby. Okay, well, I need to get rid of one of those. Uh, should we get rid of our, wire, of our tire repair kit is the question. Tell you what, actually. I, I have an idea. Let's see if any of our engine parts need repaired yet. Eh, air filter could probably do it being repaired. Hmm. I feel like... We should probably repair our carburetor, if anything. It's more important. And then we'll have plenty of space for other things. There we go. Perfect. And now we can take both the oil and the wine. Oh, that's good. As long as we find somewhere to sell it, we'll be doing really good. <laughs> yeah, no, like, look, as long as you get stuck in a scenic area, is it really a breakdown? Honestly? It's just a, uh, it's just a really scenic pause that doesn't end. <laughs> God, it's beautiful though. I love little coastal scenery. Come on.
Come on, engine, you can do it. You're a big King Kong engine. Yeah, come on, yeah. If I was smart, actually, I would replace anything except what I replaced or, like, repaired. Because if we come across a junkyard, I could have just replaced it. But that's okay. The engine seems pretty hefty. Ooh, more things. Oh, you can even hear the waves. That's really beautiful. Okay, let's see what we got. More wine? Maybe? Perhaps? Eh, textiles. Eh. I guess. We'll always get rid of them if we find something more valuable. There we go. Uh, now which way do we want to go? Uphill or just straight? I can go straight. Yes. All right, great. This is so comfy. That car is slowly shaping up to be a good car. It has a good engine. It has a really big water tank. Generally, by this point, your windshield looks like you drove through a gunfight. <laughs> I believe it! I think the only thing saving me at this point is literally just the fact that I have, like, the really giant water tank. Because, yeah, I can't- I can't imagine, like, wasting room on water. Seems like a waste of space. Area's question. Let's go and see what we got. There might be something else. Waves crashing is so nice. Let me in. I wouldn't let you in. I don't think there's anyone here. knocked like 30 times let's check around see if there's any any boxes or anything we might get lucky yeah it's elvis that really is a scenic area to be caught in also wow you're up to 11 subscribers Ooh, nice thanks Anna. yeah i still need to get Indeed. like the latest subscriber count thing set up at the top Engine damage also shows up as windshield and window cracks. That's fascinating. That's a strange choice, but good. Ah, oh, the smoke eventually turns black and then starts messing up your windows. That makes sense. Oh, onwards we shall go. It is a very cursed game. I like it a lot. She might couldn't go in the lighthouse, though. There's clearly an interior, a stuff model that clips outside of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should have used a crowbar to see if that worked. Ah, well. Too late, we're back on the road. So many potholes. I'm worried about getting flat. Amelia Dubrovic. <gasps> the waterfall. 
It smells very quick here and just pleasant. A lot of potholes out here though. Somebody should uh, tell, the, tell the local government. Try and fix them. Okay, let's see how we got. Maybe some more wine, maybe some medicine, maybe something worth money. Probably something worth more money than textiles we got at least. Hopefully. Okay, let's have a look. Medicine only sell value four though. Jeez. Well, it's better than the textiles, which have sell value of zero point three. Go get rid of you. Grab the medicine. we go. Yeah, no, the roof's great. I'm so happy I put the decal on it. Use the steering wheel and turn off the parking brake. That would help. <laughs> Just a touch. Oh, uh, something's smoking. Shame I don't have a repair kit anymore. <laughs> We should be able to make it. It's only like a little while. In fact, I think we're about to hit town. Yeah, we did it. Nice. There has to be. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Really does not. So I guess we'll be there, maybe? This way or this way I have you have navigate for me, jeez. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, this is not liking the uphills though. Almost. I mean, hey, even if it breaks down this point, just take my wallet and grab some stuff. If absolutely necessary. <laughs> this rate I might actually make it to Istanbul this run. Yeah, right? We're doing really good. and cultures and towns like American road trips are very boring because America is just pretty much the same everywhere. Yeah. Whereas like Europe it feels okay, like you go for a couple packets. hours and you're just in a completely different place. Which must be really nice. Okay. Medicine's fifty percent off. Let's see. So I think we can't take wine into the next area. So we've had a very good chat for this. Thanks for hanging yeah, out. Yeah, no, been really it's been great. So I think we'll keep a hold of our medicine because it's not worth very much here. We might even grab some more if we get to the next area. Uh, okay, so let's see. We're gonna go sell all of this. Come on, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, that beautiful number. Nice. <laughs> We're doing good. Okay. Grab our wallet, repair our car first, then we'll refuel and grab a whole bunch of medicines. We'll do that last, just so that we can carry it all at the same time. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna take up that space. So what we're gonna do is gonna pick that up. I'm gonna put two medicines in there. And drop the oil because we're probably gonna need to use that soon anyway. We'll throw whoop, one of these in the back. And then pop the hood and see what's going on under here. Okay, there is a lot going on under here. <laughs> the carburetor, there we go, and I reckon we'll throw one more in the filter, just in case. You know, we've been really lucky with the drops we've been getting. Might even do another leg. See how I feel. Okay, and also here we'll might as well refuel. the oil. There we go. Okay, so it's already empty. <laughs> Ooh, we need new tires. So we have lots of money. There we go. Optimal. Perfect. Let's see, you're a durability one, geez. Durability one, it's all those potholes. Durability two, I think we just go with a full set of new tires. We yeah. have the money for it. Might as well. Yeah. getting a flat just yet. Okay, let's see. There we go, thank you. bit mismatched but that's okay. Mm, actually we can only buy two normal tires. Three wet tires. Mm, not sure if I want to go with mismatched tires is my only concern. We do have two tire repair kits. What do you reckon? Reckon we can get away with two two durability tires? Yeah. We have one spare. We have a repair kit. So if we get a flat in one of them, we can at least repair it, and then the other one we can just replace. There we go. But we got rid of the durability ones, which is the important part, I feel. Okay, there we go. Down, carjack, and drunk. 
those are up. Yeah, they're both at durability too. That's not terrible. Uh, let's see. What else did I want to do whilst I was here? Might as well clean up a bit, and then we'll grab that medicine, I think. to find my beautiful car. It's definitely a little bit of chassis damage going on. Might as well clean the back window whilst we're here. That's not what I meant to do at all. Come back here, sponge. Beautiful. And uh, let's see. Our tank is full. We have one full thing of oil. I think all that's left is to buy some more medicine. If we have space for it. Uh, actually, we might not. No, I don't think we do. I think we go with what we've got. Yeah. Might as well. Okay. Well then, off we go. Hopefully the tires don't give out on us. Well, let's go to the lighter shop for us. We might actually be able to get a roof rack. If we can get a roof rack, then we can buy more medicine. That would be sweet. Okay, what do you got for me, Laker Man? Let's have a look at the tele catalog. <gasps> Roof rack. Ooh, and a Oh, a tool rack, but we can't afford it. That's okay. We'll buy the roof rack. Good, good. Red flames. Yeah, why not? We'll buy the uh, we'll buy the flame decal. It's funny. <laughs> and I reckon. a trough carburetor. Let's buy a Krone Kong. Use this with a bit of money. There we go. Good, good. Buy some more medicine. Maybe an engine repair kit in the morning. And we should be good. Very yeah, cool. flames, baby. Oh, oh yeah, it looks great. <laughs> it'll also make seeing dirt way easier. Oh yeah. Now this is gonna add some kilograms to our car, but I think that's okay. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Extra weight. But extra kilometers per liter, so we need less fuel overall. And let's fit the roof rack, baby! Oh, glorious. Oh, look at this beautiful thing. Oh, let's see. Eh, stock carburetor 5. I don't even think it's worth picking up and selling. <laughs> Actually, what am I doing? I have a roof rack. I can just put it up there. Why not? Yeah, 
There we go. Good, beautiful, we love it. Oh my god, that's not what I mentioned at all. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. We've we've got a nice beefy flame car. Oh shit. <laughs> there goes my lights. <laughs> As long as it stays there, should be good. Okay, now come here, carburetor. We'll sell this. We're gonna buy three lots of medicine, mm -hmm. and then we are going to continue on, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cheap medicine. Nineteen dollars. Might come back here in the morning, see if they have replacements for my other tires, but if not, we should be good as is. I think we'll do one more leg. And that'll take us to about 10 p.m. and we'll call it there. And then we will finish off tomorrow if we don't make it to Istanbul tonight. Alright, crash in the motel, have a nice sleep. Okay, I have a plan. That plan is tools and whatnot go on the top rack. Because that way, I only have to check up there when I need something that is to fix my car, which seems less often than selling things. At least currently. There we go. And we will take our medicine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. We're good. Uh, yeah. Onwards we march. Yeah, no, just got a roof rack. It's, uh, it's nice and comfy. And we have flame decals. <laughs> this car is now a thing of beauty. check my battery to see how much charge it has as well. Yeah, I might do that in the morning. You can buy one from the Leica dealer. Okay, now which way is it to the motel? I guess left, probably? That's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay. There we go. Mm, excuse me. Okay. Only 30. That's not bad. What does this say? Tobacco ban in Bulgaria. Hmm, maybe we'll pick up some tobacco if we have any left. If they don't have spare tires. Oh, 1A. I always get that confused. There we go. Time to get some shut eye. Day four, Dubrovnik. Okay. Wrong door. Look at those beautiful flame decals. Oh, that's so wonderful. <laughs> I love this little car. Just like the song predicted. Oh, 
that's been done. Okay. Well, let's see if we can't get some tobacco. It actually first. Let's check how our battery is doing. So our battery is low. We might have to go and prioritize that. 88% charge. It's fine. Okay, so we want tobacco and we want a repair kit if we can afford it. Uh, no repair kit, sadly. No more medicine, sadly. Uh, what about tobacco? Ooh, we can buy tobacco. And it's pretty pricey. We'll just grab three. Hoo-hoo, expensive. That's okay. Why am I doing that? Only 92. But that's okay, because we have plenty of medicine and we'll have plenty of tobacco, so we can always sell it if we need to. There we go. Oh, this is going great. Perfect. Onwards we go. the only thing the border said was they wouldn't let through this wine. And we sold all of our wine at 90% sure, so it should be good. Ooh. Rally driving! <laughs> This engine is so nice. It's it's so quick. Okay, time to look at our route. Now, which way do we want to go? There's no question marks this time. We can go a short route or we can go a longer route uh, that's a wet route but with a with a station. Yeah? Okay. Sounds good. Oh, that rain start up fast. Radio Delhi, international bestie program in Deutschland. Onwards. replacing everything in this car with big beefy boys. We've got the big beefy boy engine, we've got the big beefy boy roof rack, we've got the big beefy boy operator. We're doing good. Jeez, this engine goes so fast. Let's get 340 kilometers. Let's let's go fair ways. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, even the uphills it handles so much better.
let's see what we got. Aha, it's a crowbar box. Well, let's prize her open and see what's inside. Plunk. More medicine. That's somewhat valuable. I think I may have just done that in the wrong order. So I think it's going to put it on top of the... Yep. That's okay, Rick. So you can just place that there. Perfect. Oh, God. We've got so much stuff to sell. <laughs> we can... We can basically replace most of our car with this, as long as we can get through. Okay, so this is where you normally get lost. Okay, I'll have to uh, keep a keen eye out there and make sure I don't get too lost. Hopefully. I'm not- I'm good at getting not lost, right, Emily? Uh, <laughs> wow. Stop. There we go. Yeah, no, they are. I'm getting, like, so much valuable stuff just sitting in the sides of roads. Like, the engine was a godsend, honestly. Um, and all the shops seem to have been selling a fair amount of decent stuff. This road's a little bit, a little bit rough, because it's a lot of off-road stretches and also rain, which I, my tires are not good for. Uh, oh, I should have replaced my tires. Well, that's what I forgot to do. I replaced two of them. Two of them have durability too. We have a spare and we have two repair kits, so we should be fine. Should be. Hopefully. We might end up with a flat or two. We'll see. We'll see if the RNG gods continue to smile upon us. Very glad I have this engine installed, not my old one though, because otherwise this would be going at such a cool. tendency in games that have RNG elements. It's that old stream of luck. downhill. Nice. Radio Berlin, international with the program in Deutsche Sprache. careful in those hairpin turns. <laughs> oh god. I 
really wish I'd taken some off road tires for this, geez. God, it's wild to go this far and not have any smoke around my engine yet. Whoop! Shit, how did that happen? <sighs> That's what the bull bar's for, baby. Okay, we're we're like a third of the way there. Jeez. Okay, let's see. I reckon we stay on road. Yeah, no, the way that the ground texture shimmer do make it look flooded, it's weird, but kind of cool. I picked a good direction here because I was hoping this wasn't as off road, but it looks like it is. Which isn't great. really beautiful. This is some like really nice low poly work. Oh, good lord this is. This is rough terrain. Oh back on road. God this car is a trooper. Oh jeez, this ink line. Not a fan of that. Oh, box is open. I might get out and grab the box. Let's see what we've got. What you have inside medicine, good. And what's the crowbar box got for us today? Let's see. More medicine! Lots of medicine today, I guess. <laughs> Just leaving all this medicine by the side of the road. There we go. That's why we have all of this extra space now. Oh yeah, no, like, if we get sick on the road, we're set. Like, we'll be fine. <laughs> Good lord, this storage space is disgusting. <laughs> okay, onwards we go. A little bit more than half a fuel tank still, that's good. Oh, we've got a car on the side of the road here. Ooh. Ooh, we might be able to plunder from that. Looks like it has one... one tire. Might be able to replace one of ours with that. Okay, let's have a look. What do you got for me, car? Somebody else's sloppy jalopy. Ooh! That's good. And just a normal battery with not much charge. Okay, right, we're gonna take this. Uh, 100% triple carburetor, yes please. That's kind of gross. <laughs> Look at this thing. Ah, uh, it's heavy, but it's good. 
Okay, what's the condition of this one remaining tile? Only one durability, that's not really worth it. Anything trunk? Nah, trunk's been cleaned out. Okay, onwards we go then. Close the door. <laughs> screen and on we go. Oh, finally back on real mode. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> what? Whoa. So many hairpins. Click to zoom. Yeah, no, I I did notice. I just keep forgetting. <laughs> Classic me. Okay, well, something about our engine's not feeling too healthy. That's fine. We'll wait until we can get to a nice clear pull off. I think we have two charges on our repair kit. We'll wait till we get to the top of this hill. Hit the crest. Let's see what's going on under the hood. Okay, so you're fine. You're fine. You're at a two, you're at a three. Hmm. I feel like engine block is top priority to repair. It's a thing that'll mess us up more than the uh, intake valve. Might as well repair the air filter. I think everything else for now is fine, honestly. Uh, might as well refill some of our fuel whilst we're here though. I'm getting a little bit low. There we go. Grab our oil. Good, I did bring oil, yes. Optimal, baby! And it's empty. <laughs> Close our trunk, and onwards we go. Maybe you can do it. Gee, this leg is going so slow because it's all up hills. So many mountains. Alright, I should turn on my windshield wipers. I should spray that and turn on the radio. There we go. Got a flat. And 
not a tire. <gasps> yeah, no. Good night, Elvis. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a good one. It's great to have you. Okay, well, we found this petrol station. Found the halfway mark for a change, which is nice. Okay, well then, I think it's time to sell some of our things. And buy some other things. Let's see what we got. So much medicine. Well, we're definitely going to sell our tobacco because that's a hell of a price we're getting here. gonna sell this because I'm not sure she'll have enough money to buy any any more from us. <laughs> Just bankrupting every single gas station owner between here and Istanbul. Good lord. put things in your That's baffling. Very strange and glitchy. Let's let's try a different box. Cozy excursion. Oh, yeah. There we go, full pack of medicine. Christ, all of this money. Okay, I have to sell these ones individually. For some reason, it's glitching out, it's only letting me use the uh, boxes once, mm. which is weird. There we go, 330. That's pretty good. Uh, whilst we're here, we might as well... Uh, is it even worth refilling our tank? I guess so. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's at 9 liters, but we can, we can throw another one. There we go, still got an optimal max. Now, what we need is we need some repair repair kits. Um, and again, this one can still be used once. So, we might as well just repair whatever it is throwing that repair notification. Now, let's see. Yeah, I think it's the uh, carburetor. There we go. Carburetors are important. And let's have a look. What do we got in here? Okay, we got 
free repair kits. We might as well buy her out. I've got the storage space. <laughs> oh, good lord. Nothing's ever going to break down in this car. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, house. Hey. Welcome to the Oni Gang. Okay. Still got good money. Oh, you love to see it. Okay. Let's throw these in the trunk. Actually, we'll throw two of these on the roof rack. There we go. And we need to. Open it back up. Get what we can for the engine. And then we'll have a look at our tires. Great. It's in a weird position. Yeah, those tires definitely need fixing. I think everything's at max durability now. Jeez. Good lord. What a well cared for Leica. Okay, can't put it in there, but we can put it in the trunk. That's what we'll do. And then, we're going to move our Leica forwards, because we're not going to make the same mistakes last time and soft lock ourselves by getting the car jack stuck under the car. Uh, so, let us pull forwards. Let's see. I reckon we could do with like a new full set of tires, honestly. Yeah, if she has them. Start off with these two. see. Uh, we could get wet tires or we could just get normal tires. I reckon. We'll grab the wet tires. Why not? Is stormy out there after all. There we go, got some good money. to replace the other side. Perfect. Good traction. Okay. Purchase those. Put these bad boys on. Anything worth grabbing? Ooh, 50% off wine. 
Mm. Okay, I can grab some heals. Why am I not? Grab like four. I don't want to spend too much because we want a little bit of extra money in reserve just in case. And last one, and then we shall continue onwards with our extra traction tires. Perfect. Oh, it's going so good. Now, we have wet weather tires. Which is perfect for the current weather conditions. I want to go right because we just came from the wall of the wall of the windscreen. Good, good. Oh, yeah, these have way better traction. Oh, this is nice. It's very pleasant. bit of a spin out there. Oh good lord, more boxes. Okay, I guess we'll check what's in them. God, this is taking ages. I have food that's going cold. Ooh, more wine. Yes, please. Hey, <laughs> yes. I feel like a prohibition era gangster right now. And onwards in our sloppy jalopy. Kilometers left. Not terrible. <laughs> right, Thada? I am I am just straight up the world's best uh international trader? It'd be international, wouldn't it? No, because we're all part of the we're all part of the Soviet Bloc still. Yeah. Interstate? International trader? Yeah, 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 it is complicated. You're right. All I know is I'm making a lot of money. <laughs> Some of the best music I've ever heard. Look at that odometer tick up, though, jeez. <laughs> Already at 2,745 kilometers. Hell yes. Hey, you Why would you why would you subject me to that? I love you too, but why would you subject me to that? 
You know what's really allowing me to blaze through there, Thana? It's the flame decals. That's what's doing it. They give you extra luck and they make your car go faster. That's why I'm still. I can't believe I have four packets in my car now, though. It's kind of disgusting. <laughs> if I wanted to, I could have grabbed another fuel can, honestly. I get such good mileage with my current engine, carburetor, ignition, uh, three. What was it? Three chamber ignition fuse? <laughs> this car gets great mileage. Apparently the Trevant could be more like this. Only If only. Oh wait, you are. Yay! <laughs> oh dear. I can tell. That's not good. Okay, it's fine. Back on the road. Okay, note self. Don't take eyes off road. Very important. Nobody taught me that in driving school. Maybe that's why I flunked driving school four times. I didn't read the textbooks, okay? And my lecture was so boring. Every day, like, oh, the carburetor goes inside the flanged tube. Oh my god, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> yeah! No, you're like, look, you see a box on the side of the road, and it's like, what's in it? It's compelling, it's interesting. You know what's not compelling? Road rules. Very boring. Oh, we're only 70 kilometers away. <laughs> this feels like it's going to crawl. I think we're gonna to go to the right this time. Yeah. Are you ready? International Vista Program in Deutschland. Hopefully I don't get lost. Road. This is still a road, right? Look, I've got wet weather tires, we're fine. They've got extra traction on water. Well, they're designed for it. This is fine. Yep, see? All good. <laughs> people no that's a sign oh nice i think we're a town oh hell yes <laughs> just a little bit that it's fine though you know i'm, I'm a good driver yeah i mean, probably shouldn't but that definitely does okay i think we're gonna find the motel first this time Actually, no, we're not, because it's all the way at the bottom of that. <laughs> it's fine. Would you like me to take over so that you can leave? 
Nah, it'll only take like a minute or two. Shield wipers. Okay, time to sell some stuff. Yeah. Well, this wine isn't going to sell for much, but it's going to sell. Should still come out of this with a decent profit. One repair kit, not bad. That's good, $67. Or Deutsche Marks, or whatever it is. I don't know European money. Of course. I think like when you sell it from the box, it, it doesn't record the box as being emptied. So it still thinks the box is full. I think that's what's going on. No, didn't want the bottle of wine. I wanted the box. Give me the box. There we go. Ah, oh, it's so good though. We'll repair our engine, refuel. Oh, that's good. Maybe get more tires. We'll see how our tires are doing, actually. Mm. Okay, so the two rear tires are at durability, too. So I'll replace those, I think. That should be about all we need to do. There we go. Okay, let's see what else we got. Good. Damn, this car's in great shape. Battery is still nearly fully charged. Throw this one in the back. We'll grab the jack whilst we're here. We'll jack her up. So I think it's just the back tires that need replaced, yeah. And we'll grab another repair kit whilst we're at it. Why not? Eighty-six. Well, it's about to be four hundred-ish. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Those tires actually run me a pretty penny. Fair enough. Expensive ass tires. Just screwing me on the tire costs here. down, grab our jack, close the door, jack up this side, okay those are the tires that need replaced, good, I'm just going to throw these 
is there. Here's one. this and see if our car needs any fuel might as well grab another bottle of oil I'm having fun with this yeah no it's great oh we should probably grab some more water also here as well <laughs> just fling the bottle over this fling the bottle just throw it across it's a shame wine wasn't very expensive here Aww. yeah it's kind of a shame i love those things Oh, they're so good. They're so ridiculous. Did you change the roof? Uh, yeah, it automatically changed when I, oh, like, yeah. can't have checkerboards with roof racks. That's Sadly sad. not. Well, specifically with the flames, I think. I think mm. you can only have one decal. Ah, I should have refilled my engine first, but that's okay. So we'll do these, we'll go to the motel, rest, and then I think we'll call it that for the night. Even I have a bunch of better. Need it. Yeah, so we do need some fuel. Gamer fuel. G fuel, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps you going for those long nights of playing Halo. Halo, how you doing? Oh. Ha. Aha. Damn, that is a hefty camel water tank. Okay, well then, time to go and pay for our fuel. And I think we're done here. And we can go to the motel and get some rest. Yeah, our G fuel. Yeah, I'm still made out with $263. Not bad, not bad. It's like a solid $150 profit. Not the best, but not terrible. Okay, now we go to the downhill and try and find this hotel. So many happens. Oh, yeah, we need to find our way to secure that. Yeah, it's fine for now, but we can really secure it somehow. Pay for a nice night at the Pleasant Motel. Importing of coffee banned in Turkey. Interesting. Trucy. Oh, no, it's good water. Best part is like the hotel rooms are really good for this. Yeah. Like this is spot on. 
No, it's pretty accurate. <clears throat> Day five, Melko Tarnover. There we go. And I think for now, we're going to call it there for the night. Make the final leg of our journey to Istanbul next time, which will probably be tomorrow, uh, unless something else to play comes up immediately. Mm -hmm. But yes, hope you all had fun. I know I did. This was one hell of a road trip. And yes, no. You know what, Thana? Thank you for watching. And you mostly <laughs> camped it on the road. I'm impressed. Yeah, I only went off road three or four times. Uh -huh. It's pretty yeah. good. Like honestly, for me, that's like some stellar driving. Yeah. No, yeah. You got better. Yeah. No. You, you're a learner as Lit you do. Little bit of a rough start, but you know, a little once bit. once you remember to pack little, everything, uh, you're fine. Uh, okay. Yeah. Boomerang in yeah. background. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. You were in charge uh -huh. of the packing. Uh -huh. Yeah, remember? Uh huh. I love you. Mm hmm. <laughs> Pack it in while you can on stream. Not gonna get a chance later. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I'll see you all most likely tomorrow night, unless anything else comes up, which I doubt it will. Uh, hope everybody has a fantastic evening. And until then, I will see you tomorrow, same time, same channel. Janine! Gotcha! <laughs>